Okay, everything is looking good now. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. As you can see, it's finally time. You can all read the title. We're viewing a Pokemon Emerald Egglock Randomizer with a special save file set up for this. Let's do this. Now, there is just Jirachi in my party here because I needed to have something before I take out the first egg. And as you can see, the mods here have set up a little custom Cynthia sprite for us. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Ain't that nice? Everything is very nice right now. So, hang on a second. Yep, I've got candies right here for, like, matching the Hatch Pokemon's level, so we don't spend, like, an eternity grinding. People wanted me to do that in the last Egglock as well, so we're gonna go ahead and do it that way. But first, the most important thing. So we're counting the first egg as the starter from Little Root. So let's go ahead. Oh, wow, we already have a lot of people here. I just started. We're gonna generate a random number between 1 and 106, because that's how many eggs we received. The first egg is number 89. Well, let's go get it. Let's go get it, and while we're hatching that egg, we can go ahead and explain everything. Boot that up. Someone's PC. Should be easy enough. Okay, 30, 60, 90. So here's number 89 right here. Our first little egg. Yeah, we can run indoors now, too. Fun little speed-up option. Let's run back and forth, but first, let me go ahead and pull this up so I can read it while we do that. So once again, thank you all for doing this. Oh, it's hatching already. Nice, it really was sped up. All of May has been replaced with Cynthia. Most major characters have been given a lift. Oh, a shiny Seviper. You randomized which ones would be shiny, right? That's pretty nice. Well, we gotta give it a nickname. I'm gonna call it... Um, how about Hockey, after that poison girl from Street Fighter. Okay, check this here. 106 eggs have been submitted. Eggs have been randomized to be shiny, a surprise for everyone. Overworld field items are randomized. Wild Pokemon randomized, NPC Pokemon randomized. Impossible evolutions like trades have been changed to work. And trainers will have similar strength and type theme trainers. Oh, I said trainers too much. Candies for the leveling there. Slightly adjusted catch rate. Unlock the national decks at the start. And, and you can run indoors. And once again, thanks to Night Demo, Yo-Yo, Lil Andy, and Laplace for making this. Thank you all very much. Now let's finally get ready to enjoy this. Let's take a look at this. Jed Skin, Hasty. Okay. Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, and Crunch. Well, this isn't the worst thing in the world, that's for sure. Looks pretty nice. I'll take it. Now let's go ahead and put the Jirachi away, and let's hope we can catch some stuff. Reminder, the first egg is the starter check from Little Root that Birch gives you when you're in his lab. That means Route 101 is fair game. We're gonna put the Jirachi over here. Just a little friend. He's hanging out. Did you put Jirachi because Jirachi doesn't obey you when you hack it in? I wonder. So I can't cheat? Like I'd be able to do that. Let's start with... No, let's go to Route 101 first. First Pokemon I find... Is what I'm gonna get. Let's use Aki. Go, go, go. Shiny Seviper looks kinda cool, yeah. And that's a Wooper. Oh, look at that back sprite. Reminds me of, like, the pose from, like, uh, Black and White. Level 2. And I have the starting amount of Pokeballs. I have some starting money. I really should just buy some more right quick. 2, 3, 4. Oh, that's right. I should go into options to turn the text speed to fast. How's the audio, by the way? I got so caught up I wasn't checking that. Okay, Wooper has been caught. That means we now get an egg for Route 101. If I fail to catch the Pokemon, I don't get an egg for it. Audio sounds good. Okay. Let's get ready. Go into move. Let me open random again and generate a number. Number 23. Number 23. Okay. 
30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. Goodbye, Wooper. You will sit there forever now. Bet it all on number 23. Sorry, did we... Did you post who, who submitted the Surviper? Yeah, let's go into options. The story of this is Cynthia just decided to take a little vacation in Hoenn. Because why not? No free... Oh, no. Give me a free potion still. Let's get this. I might need it. I think these rare candies are going to clog up my inventory, though, so maybe I should put them away. First, let me check this. Gimme. How may I serve you? Gimme ten of these right here. And I'll get a free Premier Ball for it, too. She bought a bunch of candies, though. You can't buy candies like this in Sinnoh. Okay. Let's let the egg hatch before I uh, catch the next thing. I don't want to keep you all in suspense. Luckily, there's a handful of routes right here to get Pokemon right away. Shiny Scyther. Did I just get two Shinies in a row? How many Shinies did you allow in the pool there? Well then. Hmm. What am I going to call it? What am I going to call it? Um... Wait, how would it evolve? I guess I need to get a metal coat and make it hold it. Scythers from Ike Marthroy. Okay. Hmm. Let's give him a cool name. How about we call this one... Because it's shiny. Call it Gold Blade. Because that's so cool. Let's take a look at it. Swarm, Adamant Nature, Aerial Ace, Swords Dance, Fury Cutter, and Silverwind. Silverwind is physical in Gen 3, so that's cool. Perfect. Now let's catch a Togepi. That's just a little baby. What can that do to me? Edgy name. No, it's not edgy. Gold isn't edgy. Silver is, remember? Throw a Pokeball at it. Catch egg to obtain new egg. That's right. Ooh, no you don't. This thing would probably die from anything I do, but if it keeps charming, maybe I could just hit it with Crunch or something. This is why I bought extra Pokeballs. I mean, Scizor is also gold. Are you serious, Togepi? I don't think Togepi can even have Metronome at this level. Crunch is special. Oh, you're right. I, I had to catch myself there. Okay, pal. I'd say I'm gonna have to go for a physical attack now, because this thing's being a butt. Sludge Bomb would be stabbed, so I'm just gonna Earthquake the Togepi and it's gonna live. I'm at minus five. There's no way it's gonna live. Yeah, you're telling me. Unless I get... Yeah, babies normally have bad catch rates. Let's do it. We're gonna get attached to everything. Catch the little blooper. The egg needs to be bullied. This is an egg lock. We need to take the egg to obtain the egg. There we go. Give it up for egg number three. Or wait, I'll roll which one it is in a second. Give a nickname to Togepi. Of course not. Togekiss? This is Gen 3. Not to mention, I'm not using the Togepi. I guess to change it for the egg. Okay, let's randomize everybody. What do we got? Number 24? Are you serious? Okay. 23 and now 24. I love how we can just swap it with the Pokemon I catch and see it get filled out. Everything should hatch relatively quickly. A little less funny than 25. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let it hatch. Will be a quick one. 
We can still catch a Pokemon in 102 up here. And then the first trainer's right here. You want to know why it's a good idea to hatch eggs right away? Because what if the first trainer has a Ghost-type move? And my only Pokemon have Normal-type moves. That would be terrible. Come on, Cynthia. Just run back and forth. You're doing just fine. This egg doesn't want to hatch as quickly, apparently. There we go. Just had to complain about it. Hey, a dinosaur! Okay. Um... How about... Dino Girl? I just don't want to spend forever on the nickname screen, okay? I will spend an eternity on a character creator. Let's take a look. From P uh, uh, Pico Kila. How do I say that again? I'm sorry, I don't know. Timid Nature, Sunny Day, Toxic Sy uh, Synthesis, and Giga Drain. Not a lot of PP on this one, but Early Toxic could be good. More creative nicknames? Okay then, make it snappy. Give them for me. There's one more thing to catch. We're pretty much good to go and fight the first youngster, I'd say. Oh, I can definitely catch this. Green Saviper looks so weird. Do Saviper's uh, shiny still look like this in modern games? I don't actually know. I don't think Banana Dino would fit. Oh, come on. This thing is basically an egg in a weird, weird way. Kind of. We won't get to catch a Pokemon again until after Petalburg now. So we're making do with the first set of Pokemon we get. Are you serious? Excellent. I know that shiny Zangoose is, like, blue instead of red. That one looks pretty sick. This Saviper just kind of looks sick. It's got the sniffles. Are... Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what we're gonna do? Since apparently Kakuna has one of the hardest things to catch right now. It's in a gold blade. Shiny Scyther does not look very shiny. Also, seeing Scyther from behind looks very cursed. It just looks like a regular praying mantis. Let's try this. It's gonna do nothing, but... We don't really have a choice but to get it down to yellow since it wants to be difficult. Wait, if Scizor's golden, maybe I should have called it gold clamps? I don't know. The job was easy. Get in there, catch a weak Pokemon, and get your fourth egg. Excellent. Yeah, the idea of using the candies to bump your levels back up is... This is something other streamers do that people have recommended to me. So I, in case I get team wipe, I don't want to spend, like, three streams grinding a new team. So just getting them to the level of the next battle is, like, way more efficient for the sake of a stream. Okay. Not to mention, it doesn't pressure me to use the same exact six Pokemon for the entire game. Pokemon has been caught. Oh yeah, I used to nickname them the number when I did the Cheryl egg lock, didn't I? Thank you for the resub there, Laplace. 54 months. I should do that. First, let's go ahead and roll number 25. If I actually get 25, I'm gonna... Okay, 91. 60, 90, 1. Oops, what am I doing? 106 total eggs. Obviously, we couldn't have as much as Gen 4. Some people didn't want to submit this time because there wasn't as much uh, of a selection. Maybe next egg lock I'll do it for Gen 5, but I just played a whole game that's like remade Unova, so... Okay. What wild Pokemon can I also run into? Because I feel like I should get some quick experience or see if I can fight things. We got Metapods hanging out. I guess if it's similar strength, it makes sense they're replacing the Zigzagoons and um, the Puchienas. Got Flamethrower. That's a whole lot of eggs. 
I don't think I need to beat up the wild Pokemon. I should be able to go right for the youngster. But, oh, actually, yeah. That one level there could be worth it. I want the egg to hatch before I fight the youngster, because what if he has a ghost? I mean, I have Crunch, but, you know. I don't think anybody's going to have... Oh, look, round friend. Nobody is going to have, um, Shedinja right away. How does Shedinja factor into the similar strength rule for the randomizer? I don't think it does. I think there's a specific setting just to prevent Wonder Guard from appearing in any shape or form early on at all. Okay. My attack and defense are equal. Now let's hatch the egg and we'll go fight the trainers. We can do it. I won't actually get a move on, but it takes a little bit to set up and explain at the start of these. You know how it is. I haven't really done too many of these, but they're fun every once in a while. Dude, I got another shiny. Are you sure you didn't make every single one of them shiny? Are you sure about that? Submitted by Gold and Silver. Okay. Hmm. We got it. That's right. Name it Metaverse? No, I don't want it to die. Why would I name it after a dead thing? Let me go. RNG. Oopsie. Duck. Tropius wasn't shiny. <laughs> yeah, but... Trace, and it's sassy. Shadow Ball, Tri Attack, Psychic Conversion. Pretty good, pretty good. If you got Pokemon with you, then that you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Oh, you know, I didn't even think about this. Did I play the last one on set or switch? This is random Pokemon trainer, so I feel like set would be a death sentence. Sludge Bomb it. All that preparation, it was just a level 5 Wismer. Excellent. Level 7. Hmm. Aki wants to learn what? No, 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 you got Crunch. I've never used a Sviper in, like, any capacity. I've never even, like, done it in Purity Forest. Okay, let's put someone else up front and see how this goes. Um... Duck do it. Reminder that overworld items are randomized. So if I want to get a, something to, like, evolve... Oh, like, if I want to evolve the Scizor, I need to find the Metal Coat in the pool. Not even a guarantee that we'll have it. Only 36 of them are shiny, and they were picked randomly. Oh. So... Really? What are the odds of me getting three shinies so far, then? Oh, look, there's a ghost! I told you that would happen! I literally predicted this. Kind of. Okay. Let's do it. Ah, I can keep spamming Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball counts as physical, because Gen 3. I'm gonna see how far we can get today. Roughly a third of them were sh are shiny. So a one in three chance each egg, I guess. Thank you for the sub there, Zach Tech. Appreciate it. We have a lot of people here. You put, like, randomizer and egg lock in, in the title, and people just come flooded in. Let's go. There's no reason to match the wild Pokemon levels since eggs hatch at level five in this game. He's got lots of bugs, lots of skulls. Ghost catcher right there. We're gonna make sure we get our levels up. This is gonna bring the people. Oh yeah, I've, I've been ta talking about it uh, recently. When I did the other egg lock stream, the one with the custom Cheryl sprite for platinum, um, the first VOD of that, when I uploaded it to YouTube, like, YouTube decided to, like, super promote it, and it has, like, over half a million views. <laughs> like, it was one of those times where people were clicking on the video just to type in the comments to complain about it being in the recommended all the time. And hey, that worked out for me, didn't it? Okay, he's got a bag on. Now, 
You tell me how similar strength decides that, like, a Pochiana is similar strength to Bagon, because that don't seem right to me. You gotta get to work? Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'll still be around. This will be uploaded to YouTube for sure. This and Yu-Gi-Oh are gonna do numbers. Ooh. Um, yeah, we can keep fighting with this. The basic forms of pseudo-legendaries are pretty weak. Yeah, I know, but it's the principle of the matter. Six? Perfect. Focus energy. Heck no. How about you focus your energy into learning better moves? Bold Blade. Isn't that a fun name? The only thing difference that you can really tell with the shiny Scyther, outside of its, like, shade of green, is that its joints are, like, red. And they look more magenta in the 3D model, if you've seen it in Scarlet and Violet. Okay, let's put the Tropius up front. Dino Girl. See, the fun of Egglox is getting to use Pokemon you wouldn't even think twice about. Never in my life have I used a Sviper, and now it's my starter. Excellent. We'll take these for now. Mm. Oh yeah, and uh, like before, no items in battles. I'm not gonna just spam full restores. I'm gonna keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Of course, held items are fair game. Tiana got a why not. Why not a why not? Hmm. Don't really have much in the way of attacking, do I? Get hit with Toxic first. Trainers are type-themed, yeah. That's another thing that... I always forget that type theme does kind of mess with the similar strength rule, because it has to kind of fudge the numbers, doesn't it? Let's go. Okay. Why not can't learn Counter and Mirror Coat, right? It has to evolve for that. I'm reasonably sure of that anyway. But now you all have me paranoid. Maybe it's because of the Wampa Fett in Stadium 2 yesterday. <laughs> but it should be fine. If I come across a random Wampa Fett, that's just it. It's over. The gems will have themes, that's right. Quick question, what's the level of Roxanne's ace Pokemon? I want to know what range I need to train for. Hi, Lorelai, welcome. You're just in time for a fun little stream. Boba Fett's a jerk, you're telling me. Her nose pass is level 15 in Emerald. Okay. I ended up furthering your career. Tropius could really use a level. What else is here? Oh, yeah, first overworld item. Oh, um... Uh, that- that's good. That's very good. People are gonna be like, scripted, scripted, he scouted this. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta put some of these away or it's just gonna look awkward every time I open this. Do I use this, or do I just make it level up while holding it? Right? I think that's what I do. It's a Weedle. I'm gonna have to switch. Why did the duck come out first? Did I put it up front? Didn't realize I did. Hmm. Trying to think here, trying to think. Put Dino Girl up front. No, you can't even script random overworld items, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, Meryl. I can Giga Drain this. Is there any benefit to leaving Porygon as it is right now? Like, does it stop learning moves when it evolves? I don't remember how Porygon 2 really worked. Okay, there's no reason not to evolve it. Okay, then. I say we just evolve the duck, because why not? That's probably some of the best overworld item luck I've ever had, yeah. Let's give you the upgrade, then. 
Oregon 2 is just better than ever in every way. Sick. Oh, hang on. Uh, the randomizer says it has to be at least level 30 for it to work. Okay. So I have to, um, I have to level it up a little more then. That's fine. That's more balanced, I guess. That way I can't just cheat having a really fantastic Pokemon right away. Absorb does nothing. It shouldn't take too long to get to that. This is Emerald, so Roxanne has three Pokemon. Whatever her type's gonna be, we'll have to see when we get to it. Still hold the upgrade. Doesn't really do anything, though. There's no Eviolite in Gen 3. I can't use that. Yeah, it's a Gen 5 item. Every May Sprite has been converted into a Cynthia Sprite. What about the bike? Wasn't there uh, last time, there was a few times when I did an action as Cheryl? And I accidentally walked over here. And, yeah, I did a few actions as uh, Cheryl, and it would just turn her back into Dawn for a second. <laughs> I tried to walk over there too far. I totally forgot that guy was even there. Hey, who's that? He looks different. There's already a save file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did say you changed some extra things. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Cynthia, you're all finished moving in. Surprised you managed to get here by yourself. Here with your Pokemon, I guess you're gonna be a trainer like me. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Why does Wally look like that? Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Oh, you're Wally, right? I'm gonna stay with my relatives in Bird and Turf Town. Thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I want a Pokemon, but I never caught one. So is the dialogue all the same, but you changed some of the characters? You heard that? Go with Wally to make sure he catches a Pokemon. Here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Oh, wow. I'll give you a Pokeball, too. So we have to sit through this, because why not? Yeah, I can't change the dialogue without breaking stuff. Okay. It would just mess up the randomizer. All right. Cynthia, Pokemon hide in tall grass. Please watch me if I can do this. Oh, no, Wally. Can't deal with that. You turned him into Oraz, Wally. <laughs> Is that random? Hang on. Hang on. Or did you set that up? It's random. We didn't do this. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's perfect. Get him, Wally. Get him. You should keep the Mewtwo. Is Wally even gonna have Houndoom next time? Probably not. Maybe I should ask Dad if I could also borrow the Mewtwo, yeah. I did it, it's my Pokemon. Thank you, let's go back to the gym. Don't it work out? Yeah, thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Okay. Dialogue is just the same. Fine. You want to become a strong trainer? Here's my advice. Go to Rustboro. I'm curious to see if you edited Team Aqua and Magma to anything funny. Let's find out. Now yeah, I'm really curious. All right, Scott. No Battle Frontier in this playthrough, but I talked about it recently, and you guys seemed to like the idea. But just like for eggs, I was thinking we could, you guys could submit random Pokemon, and I'll randomly select a team from that and try the Battle Frontier on stream. That could be a lot of fun if we could make that work. Hang on, before anything else, let's catch a, po a new Pokemon. Who is the tankiest on the team right now? Especially, okay, defenses are 16, 15, 28 HP. Definitely looks like Tropius for sure. Tropius is good. Oh, hey, Tyrogue. Another baby. Hmm. Running low on Pokeballs. 
Is this thing gonna be hard to catch? I hope it just gets in the ball. No! Hmm. Maybe I could Fury Cutter it. I gotta do something to weaken it. Don't hit Aerial Ace. Don't hit Aerial Ace. Come on. Toxic might kill it, though. That's the problem. Okay. Now I'll use a Silver Wind. His next Fairy Cutter might kill it. Oh, come on! It had a power of 60. Can't believe that. Damn. Oh well. Put him up front. That's so silly. Dino Girl should be fine, but you never know what could pop up in the trainers. I need more I need more money for Pokeballs now. He was living those Fury Cutters. I didn't think a 60 power Sir, uh, Silverwind would kill it from green. Okay, only seven? Well, I'm gonna have to. Let's take him. It doesn't help that I keep finding ba literal baby Pokemon who have terrible catch rates. There we go. Um, okay, now what, now what, now what? Yeah, just heal him for now. Okay. Fury Cutter starts at 10, doesn't it? Yeah, didn't seem like that that little chip of damage was going to be that much times 6. I don't need to put the candies away yet. Come here. Come here. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Aren't you excited that you can leave footprints in the Gen 3 tiles? Youngster Billy. If I go into that forest, and I run into another baby Pokemon, I'm gonna be annoyed. It was a miracle I got through that freaking Togepi. There we go. 70. Oh, to send in Larvitar, he's got a rock ground team. And the Larvitar is down. Can I find legendaries if they if they show up? Maybe. Probably. I'm worried about what's going to replace Norman's uh, Slacking because that's going to be Slacking's base stat total is going to make it a legendary almost for sure. No legendaries in the wild. Okay, good. Nope. Don't need growth. Wow, I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. I'm gonna run out of PP if I only use you. Let Gold Blade go back up front for a little bit. I fished up a tough-looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. He's gonna send out a Kyogre now. Oh, it's Sentret. Gen 3 Sentret always looks like a little bit golden, doesn't it? So much so that whenever I play a, a Gen 3 randomizer and I take out a Sentret, I always see a comment that's some, that says like, dude, you killed a shiny, what's wrong with you? And I'm just like, did you, do you not know? It's not shiny. It just looks like that. Scratch. Okay. In case it got quick attack or something and could crit. So I am playing it safe. He was using the Sentret as fishing bait. I'm gonna have to go back and heal just to replenish Giga Drain. Oh, it is level nine. You're right, I didn't even notice that. Usually it's because it's a it's a Magikarp that's like, only has splash, so I can't do anything. Ooh, nice, look at that. What the? 
by Candy Claws, I am going to have to EV train a little bit, too. All right, let's run back. I got to be careful of that, of the fisherman. The reason he has a level 9 is because he normally has a Pokemon that can't do anything. That could have been a slaughter. Six Magikarp trainer. He's pretty optional, and he's, like, right to the, the southern entrance of Rustboro. This is also Emerald version, so you have to remember there's a lot of setups for double battles to do. Let's go. I should have enough Pokeballs, but I should probably go back and buy more after I beat the Rich Boy. Let me get the berries. Do I want to give the berries now, or do I want to wait till the gym fight? Ah, they could save my life. Don't want to deal with getting... I still remember that Abra hitting me with hidden power fighting. Killed a Pokemon just like that. Wait, what am I doing? Berry pockets. Yeah. This will just be an emergency thing, just in case. Oops. Already holding upgrades. Switch the items. Aki was given that. Oh, hold up. The items on the beach should be hidden as well, you're right. Oh, nice. There was only the one, wasn't there? I don't remember if there was a second one somewhere. I don't have every hidden item memorized. I really should. I learned about a lot of the ones in Viridian Forest. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know that there's items there. Hmm. Okay. What rules are we using for this route? Oh yeah, the, the northern exit is the same route, so I guess I'm just gonna count it as one thing. Okay, right, Emerald version switches the lady and the, um, the, the rich boy. It should be okay to fight you. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Zubat. Okay. Yeah, the ladies and rich boys give tons of money. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Let's not mess around. Make sure we get it. Oregon needs to be level 30 for the upgrade to work. Trace inner focus. Full restore. She's flexing on me. Get it with Psychic. Oh, there we go. It's only Leech Life. It's not like it's Gen 7 Leech Life. Their Pokemon always have Nuggets. Oh, really? Is that like a strategy you can do where you can just go into the battle with Thief? That's hilarious. Oh, my. Okay... I'm gonna go buy more Pokeballs, because that Tyrogue's got me scared. Makahita hanging out. This route seems to be a fighting route. Be an easy place to train Gold Blade. Yeah, perfect. I need to shop. Do I have enough for 10 Pokeballs now? Probably not after I spent for that 7. Exactly. Perfect. Those are the main thing we need. That's right. You lose the battle, you gotta pay up. Or if you're me, your Pokemon die. That's fun. Give money. Give card money. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Hi, hi, welcome everybody. Now, there's no other items to pick up here, right? Also, the reflection is working for Cynthia. That's cool. Looking nice and pretty. The Tyrogue died. It was at green. I thought it could live a 60 power silver wind that it resisted. Clearly, it's not going to evolve into Hitmonchan. We're going to walk in the forest next. We're gonna do that. 49. Okay. Not 
Fragile enough for the Fury Cutter, though. Okay. Probably best to lead with Dino Girl. That's right, we have a new sub badge. If you've been sub for over two years, you now can have a Super Teddy badge there. There's a green... If you see a green bear next to your name, that's what that is. Well, this... There's no way you can die if I do this. CDOT can explode, but it has to level up to, like, level 40-something. And it loses the opportunity to do that if it evolves ever. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Got no damage on it now. Oh, come on, man. CDOT is storing energy. It can keep storing energy. I don't have the best luck today, do I? Give me the drain. Okay, one more should do it. Is it gonna go for bite again? No, it's going hard. No crit, no crit, no crit, please. Okay. Now we're safe to just yeet things at it. Yeah, we got a lot of viewers. That's egg lock and randomizers, baby. Especially when you mod the player character to be Cynthia, because why not? Lick the controller for good luck? I don't think that's going to work. I think you're just trying to say something quirky and weird. Acorn Mon Cots. Okay, I'm gonna nickname it the name of the, um, the number I roll. Number 45. 45, everybody. I think I should go back and get the egg right away, but let's check the overworld item. There's Shuppets. Uh, Shuppet can't learn Grudge until it's Bayonet, I'm pretty sure. Dino Girl can't do anything with this moveset until I need Giga Drain. Let the duck get another level soon. Stardust. Oh, did I not pick up the hidden item? I got distracted by that, didn't I? Hang on, let me go back. Again! Hi, Magikarp. Why can't you be the thing that shows up when I need to catch something? How about that? Traced Swift Swim. Let's go for it. Gen 3 sprites looked a little bit weird back in the day, didn't they? Like, they were definitely, like, pretty good looking, but there's a few Pokemon that you look at and you just think, wow, why does this thing look so different after Gen 3? Because the sprite was so weird. I didn't even realize Shuppet had a mouth for the longest time. Excellent. I'm gonna have to cycle back in the shiny Porygon emote, aren't I? I didn't pick it up, did I? Hold up. I was on autopilot. Did I pick up something? No, I didn't. Oh, boy! Well, we're running away and picking up that damn item already. Come on. Let me pick up the item, please. I keep... What do you mean, can't escape? It's Magikarp. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh my god, finally. I keep turning around thinking I got it, but I got a wild encounter there instead. Okay. Let me go get the egg already. To the PC. Number 45, coming right up. Okay. Okay, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Making sure. Now we take this. Oh, that was fast. That was real fast. 
Oh, it's a hoppip. It looks like a deformed cleffa that popped out of the ground. Hmm. Here we go. Potate. Let's take a look at it. Jolly nature. It has Encore, Leech Seed, Substitute, Sleep Powder. You have a lot more faith in what this thing can do than I do. <laughs> it's there, all right. Isn't Skip Loom, like, level 20-something? This thing is pretty bad for the first while. If only I had a better grass flying right now. Too bad that, too bad. 18 is Skip Loom, 27 Jump Bluff. Okay. I don't remember if I healed. I'm just doing it again. <laughs> now I'm paranoid. The Magikarp has me second-guessing things. Jolly should raise speed. I can make use of it. Until the Ice Beam comes in. Right now, we're kind of doubling up on grass and flying, though, aren't we? I even have a bug flying. Let's actually get through here. Hello. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my bug Pokemon team. What do you got for me, bug catcher Lyle? He's got swines! Okay, this should be fine. Oblivious, that doesn't matter. It would try attack. You know, I learned something recently that's kind of wild. For the longest time, I usually associate si Shiny Swinub as being green, but act in actual Gen 2, Shiny Swinub is, like, blue. And I'm like, wait, what? It bothered me to see that. Um, I could Flamethrower with Aki. Can't do that. Like, look up the Cerebi page for it. Unless I hallucinated that. Swinub's got a little boop nose. Yes, it does. It went from blue to gray to green from gens 2 to 4. Some shinies in Gen 2 are really weird, but they fix them. Like, everyone knows that shiny Ponyta is bl has blue fire, right? But in actual Gen 2, it had, like, this gray fire. Like, they just lowered the saturation of the regular sprite. I'm so glad they changed Ponyta from that. I think Rapidash still had the silver flames, though. Okay, swine up here. It'll take change from silver to blue as well. Yeah, some shinies did get changed up. Excellent. I know that, oddly enough, some shinies like Combuskin actually got improved in Gen 8, of all things. Um, like, have you ever seen shiny Combuskin? It looks exactly the same as normal, but if you check the Gen 8 model, they made it so that the orange parts are sort of like scarlet red now. What a random thing to change, but I'm glad they at least did something. Okay. Max Repel. Okay. I think I'm good to fight the Team Aqua Magma Grunt. Metapod Shed Skin. I think it's like level 9, isn't it? I'm worried about that, but we don't need to sit around grinding forever. But I will take out some things, because why not? I could... I could start with Tropius and maybe Toxic, whatever it is. I can Synthesis Snarl it. Yeah, if it's an Ice-type, though, <laughs> I'm not gonna have fun with that. Not a one to be found. 
Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around? I really love that Pokemon. Oh, did you change it to the Oraz sprites? You did. I was going to ambush you, but you had the Dawdle and Petalburg once forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. I, uh, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me. What do you think you're doing? You gonna protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Look at that. Hey, it is. Had some wild outfit outfits in Oraz, didn't they? And it's a ghost. I'm gonna be toxic to this ghost. If you had a Tropius that knew Toxic, would you want to... Ooh, that's scary. Would you have those bananas? Would they be poison? Hmm, the best you can do is Nightshade. I can outheal you. First, let's use a Giga Drain. Here comes Nightshade. And now we heal. Yeah, I said that. I said I was going to use synthesis. Hit for nine. I'm not really going to need to spam with this for very long, so I may as well just do it for this fight. Nightshade can't crit, but... Chat, this is the first ever complete Oraz Emerald Egglock randomizer with Cynthia featuring Pika Spray. That's right! No, it's Pika Spray. Joking. This should kill you this turn, so let's do it. Duskull had its energy drained. Woo, gimme. Player defeated the Aqua Grunt. You're kidding me. You're tough. Get out of here. You've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we have Team Aqua also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go. Ooh, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of those papers. I, I'll give you a Great Ball. I could actually use that Great Ball. Didn't that Team Aqua thug say they were after something in Rustboro? Uh-oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Okay, one more battle on this guy here. Hmm. Maybe Scyther will be alright. You take bug Pokemon to school, you get instantly popular. I very much doubt that. I know it's very much not true. Bug Catcher James would like to battle. Oh, he actually did have a bug, but is he a bug trainer or a grass trainer? I'll we'll have to see. There we go. Yeah, let me fix my posture. We, Team Aqua, are gonna go steal something in Rustboro. Please do not follow us. Follow us. Or talk about our plans. Yep, he's a grass trainer. Let me hydrate while I bully the potato. There we go. Player defeated Bugcatcher James. I can't be popular if I lose. You lose, James. You lose. There's no reason to really use the hop-up at the moment. <laughs> well, Metapod at level 5 is still free experience. Cynthia just decided she wants to go for a whole little strut across the Hoenn region. But Jumpluff dies very, very easily. Level 9. Keep everyone's thing topped up. 8-8. Eight, eight. Put RNG duck up front. X speed. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to put cut on something. Should make the HM users whatever random Pokemon. 
If I lose the egg moves on the egg lock mons, it's just gonna suck. One more grass type, and you can make trail, uh, trail mix out of your whole team. Max revive. Well, that's useless. This is the same route as before the forest, by the way, so I can't catch something here. There's the fighting type thing. Even the Whalmer Pale has been replaced. Oh, hang on. I should check that then. Hold up. I'm gonna play it safe and switch, though. Oh, boy. If I randomized evolutions, that wouldn't be a very fun... There wouldn't be much point to giving an egg lock, since people's Pokémon would disappear after one Evo. Aerial Ace. At least these Pokémon are given more experience than what we're used to seeing for the stage. Okay. Could use that for something. Ah. There's the Tyrogue again. No, this isn't a new route. It's the same, exact same route as the one I was on before. Say it with Tri Attack. Yeah, live that. Live that, Tyrogue. Eight. Oh, come on. All I did was turn. I'm just trying to get my hands on the hidden items here before I go down. Traced Wismer Soundproof. I don't think Soundproof really does much in this game. This gen, I mean. Yeah, give me some of that. Maybe I should use the Repel now. I could, but I can also get experience points right now. Hey, Skitty. Supersonic at least gets blocked, but you know what else blocks Supersonic? It's 55% accuracy. <laughs> Is Skitty and Delcaddy the only Pokemon that can learn assist still, or did they put that on anyone else? Okay, that's everything. Pretty Petal Power Shop. Your name, Cynthia. Would you like to learn about berries? No. I want the Wilmer Pale. What's different about this? You don't pick berries for a while, they drop off on the ground. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. Ah, looks the same to me. Are you sure? Or did I miss something there? Oh, hang on. He gets a TM, doesn't he? Oh, the sprite when you water with the Whalmer Pale is, is Cynthia as well. Oh, okay. That's what you meant. Sorry. Okay, there's the rich boy. Um... He's gonna have a full restore, so maybe just let Aki do it. Oh, sure. I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Of course you have a lot of money, rich boy. Slugma. Well, an earthquake that. They put assist on Purloin, which made it break games because it has Prankster. <laughs> That's funny. Incineroar can get uh, can't learn assist. Okay. Drowsy, Meowth, Spinda, Sentret have assist as an egg move in Gen 3, apparently. Oh, really? I thought it was fully exclusive to Skitty and Delcaddy in Gen 3. Should I, or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I'll battle. Makuhita. Okay. Better off just sending in Dino Blade or Gold Blade. I can, I mixed a couple names up there. It's okay. We're all fine. Has it been an hour already? Oh, well, that's Pokemon for you. Time goes by quickly. Sneasel eventually gets it as an egg move. Really? 
Yeah, that is silly. So assist can be used with Prankster, and if you assist Roar, that means you can technically get assist or priority Roar. That's really silly. Hang on, who's trying to learn this? Aki, yeah, we got Crunch. We don't need it. I want to make sure. Perfect. Plus three. Mankey. Yeah, send it out. He's got a fighting type team. There's a fear of uh, assist revival blessing. Is that a real thing, or is that people something that? Well, it can't be consistent, right? If it's ran assist randomly takes a move from the rest of your team, so that'd be really funny if you could pull it off, though. I shouldn't have battled. Apparently, a lot of Pokemon can get assist. Okay. Hmm. There are moves that can't be called by assist. I would imagine. Break Pokemon there. Um, you know what I could do is Earthquake with Dino Girl as the secondary. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. Thief and Covet can't be used by assist, for example. Okay. Oh, uh, well, so bad so much for using Earthquake there, huh? Okay then. Hmm. Better take out the one that can confuse. Hmm. What if the Pidgey's got Gust? Maybe you go to RNG Duck. Traced Keen Eye, that's good. In case it sand attacks me. What perfect things to lead with. I try and go for Earthquake. Oh, I literally happened. Nice. Hang on. Sludge Bomb you. Try attack you. Casual Trace just actually working. Player defeated Twins, Gina, and Mia. We battled together, but we lost. That's right, you did. Now there's the guy with six Magikarps. What did this old lady give you again? I don't think it can be random. Take the Lepa Berries, though. You never know. If you see berries growing, blah, 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 blah. Chesto Berry. Oh, yeah, it's he's near Mauville, right? This guy has three Pokemon. Before anything else, though, we're gonna go ahead and grab an item. Full heal. Okay. Next up, we gotta take out a bunch of trainers. And then we can do the gym. First, let's just heal up. Hello, and welcome to the center. Oh, right. Hang on. I have an opportunity for two more eggs. The upcoming route and a rust earth tunnel. I don't think there's any grass available to the north. You have to exit Meteor Falls to reach that. There's no, like, Pokemon check in here, right? There's no, like, water for me to fish in. Last two eggs before Jim. Can't buy Great Balls yet, right? Pretty sure I can't. But one. This should be more than enough, though. My Pokemon rule. Check them out. Beat this guy up, and then we'll run into something. Oh, yeah. I guess I could revive the Fossil for the Rustboro check. I didn't think about that. Okay, this will be fine. Aki is a good starter. Definitely got a lot of coverage there, too. Level 11. Both my attacks are perfectly equal. Doesn't seem like my defenses are that great, though. I don't know if I'll be able to carry a freaking Sviper all the way to the end. Um... Put Dino Girl up front. Bleffas! 
How dare you show up in my game? Kill! Evil! Catch the demon before it gets away. Damn it. I keep getting Johto babies. Damn it. Mm. Try one more and then I should maybe... Maybe try one Fury Cutter. I mean, it's Cleffa. It doesn't have any defense or HP. If the Cleffa... If Cleffa, does, if, if Cleffa doesn't want me being mean... Oh, actually, it could charm... Hang on. I will be mean to the Cleffas because they're mean to me. They attack in Purity Forest because they're out for blood, the little gremlins. Come on. Look at it! It looks like it's about to pounce. There we go. Charm me. There we go. Cleffa acquired, unfortunately. Silly Cleffas. Alright, let's get a number here going. Number 61. Number 61, and don't you all forget it. Uh, imagine if I hatch a Cleffa from the Cleffa. That would be terrible. That's a terrifying thought. Boot up the PC. 61's a pretty easy one to memorize. Okay, 30, 60, 61. should hatch in just a moment. Actually, it should just heal right quick. Was it holding a Lepa Berry? I guess it was. If I catch a Pokemon to exchange for an egg, if it's holding held a held item, I guess I might as well keep that as fair game. It's a poisoned Lepa. Don't eat it. You're right. Make a save, because I don't know if it's going to crash. We did quite a bit to this, didn't we? So I'm worried it might crash at some point. Can I get an item up here? Yeah, there's one. Don't have a fishing rod, though. Oh, hey, Moonstone. Not gonna be using it on a Kleppa. Or Clefairy. Nope. Not getting anything to that darn Kleppa. Still hasn't hatched yet. Let me... Yeah, Dino Girl can definitely use a level still. Let's get that item over here and beat this guy. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. If it's taking long to hatch, that means it'll be good. Probably. Oh, look. More Johto babies. I should be fine. Yeah, I got the Dressboro item when I entered. I walked behind the fence. Drain it. What was it again? I think it was a full heal. So far, the upgrade has been the only thing hype I've picked up. Drain it. Make it cry. Make it go away. That's right. Was there a second item hidden in Rustboro? I don't recall where that is. Electrike. Probably should just use Aki to hit it with Earthquake. If the babies don't want to get booped, maybe they, they should stop showing up in my way. In the school? Oh, really? 
is it just, is it like on the ground or is it from an NPC? Because I don't remember. I maybe, I like never checked the trainer's pool. NPC. I guess I could take that, it might be useful. I lost, I thought I had you. I do need to get cut so I can pick up the extra items too. Oh hey, shiny Beldum. Very useful. It only take me like ten thousand years to get Metagross though. From Sorrow's End, okay. Looks like a Carl to me. There we go. Adamant nature and takedown. Yeah. I traded a Cleffa for a better space rock. Um, I'm trying to think what to do with this thing. I might have to just wait until I get to um. Hold up. I do need to keep track of the levels, don't I? I could put it in the daycare. Or let everything get bumped up by the candies to the ace's level. Hmm. Tang happens at level 20. That's true. I need something that can use cuts. I catch. I could use the C dot for that. The limber way you move and your well-trained Pokemon. No, wait, don't say a word. Put this hidden machine to good use. I haven't gotten something from the cave yet. Unlike a TM, an HM can be used over and over. Blah, blah, blah. For now, I can just put the Beldum away. The Cleffa was... Was the Cleffa even level 5? It was level 6. Silly thing. Yo, 45, I need you for a second. Let's put you down there, Meteor Carl, since we can't use you at the moment. CDOT can't learn cut, but well, what can? Not Wooper, not Cleffa, not Togepi. Not you either. I don't think Jirachi can learn it. Well, darn. Let me just go to the cave and get my next Pokemon. Maybe I'll figure out that that either. Rustboro has such the mo like such elevator music. This place has. I study at school and I study on the way home too. I'm not replacing a move on Scyther. I'm not giving up egg moves for HM moves. That'd be silly. Gen 5 Sturdy is in here, and I did not apparently heal that. Thought I did. Unfortunate. Electricity's power was weakened. Oh, give me a break. I ran all the way back, and I didn't use the Pokemon Center, and I'm paralyzed. I could just use... Could just use the full heal. I'm in shock. I lost. Okay. Where's the move deleter again? He's in Lily Cove. Oh, I do not want to replace one of my main Pokemon's moves here. That would, that would be silly. Yeah, I'll just use the full heal for now. I don't care. Very far from now. I don't want to be stuck with cuts. That's a Meowth. We don't need to worry about it, though. Usually there's... Oh, come on. Seriously? 
Okay, fine then, Mr. Meowth. You want to fight? We'll give you a fight. There's a couple items inside the cave I can make use of. Well, I guess there goes all my Giga Drains. Cat is way too fast. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Hmm. There's literally only going to be one Pokemon type in the cave. Okay, double battle, boys. Hmm. Let Aki go ahead and clean up still. Or I could also potentially go with Earthquake, doing these two. Come on. Give me the double. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. It's a dead end up here. I'm bored. Can we battle? Hiker Clark and Youngster Johnson would like to battle. Well, well, well. It looks like it's going to work this time. Earthquake. Uh, you might probably live it, so let's do this. I don't think Geodude can spawn in the cave, right? Unless you use, um, unless you use Rock Smash. All Rock Smash, uh, Rock Smash encounters in Gen 3 are just Geodude. But otherwise, the cave just has Wismer floating around. Okay, look at those stats. We picked a good battle to go into with my Earthquake idea. I don't think this could kill, but it's baby, so... Oh, nice. Does Silverwind really have 60 power in Gen 3? Because I feel like it's doing better than I expected to. Or 48. Nose Pass is in Granite Cave. No, it's not here. We'll rock you hard. Only place in the game you can find Nose Pass. Nose Pass really doesn't feel like a Hoenn Pokemon. Because it's more common in Sinnoh where you can evolve it. Ah, uh, Sludge Bomb. I ran into a shiny Nose Pass when I was completing the decks in Alpha Sapphire. I got no defense on that level up. Ooh. This guy's got dragons. Is it 1% in Granite Cave, or is it like, uh, like 5%? I don't know. You're never really in there for long, so you just never really find it. Aki's kind of hogging all the experience right now, but he's got the most coverage. ay ay, -ay No contest at all. Okay. Damn, there's a lot of trainers up there. I really, really do not want to teach Scyther Cut. Tiny mushrooms. There's nothing else here that's hidden. Okay. Hopefully you'll be okay up front. Check out the tunnel. Burn heal. I don't need that. Yeah, it's still blocked off. For a second, I thought the Rock Smash rocks were supposed to be closer. Skitty! What are you doing here, silly? You're not even that far off from where you're normally supposed to be. Okay. One more should do it, then. They moved to the cave. You missed your tackle. Of course you did. Give it a Pokeball. Acquire Cat. Skinny is normally only found in the route outside in all of Hoenn, right? Cat is just spelunking. And it evolves by Moonstone, a fact that I regularly forget because who cares about Skitty? Number 54. That's the name of this mon. Excellent. Okay, let's head back. And then we gotta go take care of the gym. 
What about all those trainers there, dude? I I need something that can cut. Wait, can can Skitty learn cut? M the Skitty. Okay, fair enough. That's different though. Should be able to take this out quickly. Skitty has to be able to learn cut. It's a cat. They use scratch. I may as well carry it with me and do that then. I can put the hop away for the time being. Okay. Um, what was I doing? I opened it up and I immediately forgot what I was doing. Really? Really? Who is allowed to learn cut in this game? Not something I don't want to learn it? Oh, go away, Kleppa. You're the last thing I want to see. Kill it. Skinny can learn flash, but it can't learn cut. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. There's more hop ups. I already hatched one, though. I can't give up any Atropius' moves. I don't want to do that. I want to give up. Don't want to give up anything on the, the Pokemon here. If I delete any of their moves, I'm just never going to get them again. Hello, Spiro. Yeah, it has claws. It should be able to cut, but apparently it can't. I don't want it pecking me, actually. Oh, yeah, I know. Dylan's going live soon. We, um... In a couple hours, we wanted to... I wanted to join him for streaming Lethal Company. He kind of asked me when we were at the gym for this. I was just going to stop for the night after the egg lock, but I may as well do that now. Okay... For now, let's go to 54. Okay, look at that. 30, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54. Thank you for the sub there, friend. Yeah, I'm joining him during his second game. I have not played it, but he's convinced me to just join, <laughs> convinced me to join in with him and I'll learn as I go. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Well, all that's left is the gym trainers now. Since I can't cut with anything. But I kind of want to hatch the egg first. That might be worth it. Hang on. Um... Yeah, Roxanne's ace is level 15. I need some more training, don't I? Do that. Beat some things up still. Spiro is here. Skinny was level 8, by the way. Okay. Forty-nine. Hmm. Pursuit! Pursuit! <laughs> no! Don't need that. I don't think Roxanne is still going to have rock types, but we know that level 15 is the goal. I don't think um, Noah's Pass has very good BST. If it does, uh, that means it would be able to get replaced with something good. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. Those Cleffas are not friends. They are targets. They must be eliminated for, for the spoils of war. The egg is still not hatched. Nose passes BST is 375. I'll become the Cleffa targets. That's what you think. I'm prepared for that disaster. All of a sudden, there's nothing but Spiro on this route. Oh, put someone else up front for a second. There's two gym trainers that I can fight. Cleffas can learn Flamethrower. But Skitty can't learn Cut. What a world we live in. Nose Pass is pretty much Onyx, but more even stat distribution. Well, it's also only Rock type, not Rock Ground. Run away. Oh, we don't have to worry about that. 
Hit it with this. Skitty can't really do a whole lot of stuff, can it? I don't even remember where you find a Moonstone in Vanilla Gen 3. Um, I want to say Meteor Falls. God, that's a while, isn't it? And the only thing you can use it on in the, the regional decks is Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff and Skitty, yeah. Well, when I, I mean Hoenn, not Kanto, obviously. There's another cat. I am beating up wild Pokemon, and I am st not finding anything. Trace Pickup. Hang on, if you trace Pickup, does that mean I can end the battle with a random item? That'd be nice. Also, thanks for the sub there, Flash. Let's take him out. Don't think so. Okay. RNG Duck. It's not getting a Porygon 2 today, that's for certain. Mmm, agility. Nah, you don't need that. The egg has still not hatched. What was it last time? The egg took forever and it was a Beldum. So this one must be like Bagon or something. No, Dratini. Or Larvitar. Come on. Oh, it's a shiny sheep. I'm hatching all the shinies. Candy sheep. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just call it candy. Dandy is candy. That's your sheep crowned ram? Okay. Let's have a look at it. It has secret power? Does that mean I could make a base? That would probably break something. I shouldn't do that. I really shouldn't do that. That special attack, reflect, shockwave, body slam, and secret power. Is it a physical attacker one? It's modest. Not really gonna need those bottom two moves after a little bit. Hmm. I'm allowed to level it up to eight because candies now. Whoops, hang on, I gotta go up. Luckily, Emerald version has more item space than Ruby and Sapphire. Go, go, go. I could eventually get Thunderbolt, maybe. Real thorough to replace everything with Cynthia, including the secret base sprite. There's no reason to do that in this stream, though. I get ya. Potate is there. Don't hate the potate. Hmm. Let's go heal. Let's poke our head in the first gym trainer now. I gotta be prepared for Roxanne. I'm not worried about what could replace the Geodudes, but there, it's, there's a possibility that the Nose Pass replacement could be something scary. You never know. Power Gem is a Gen 4 move. Hang on, I should check out uh, this now. What are you doing? Students who don't study get a little taste of my Quick Claw. Whether or not you're a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Alrighty. Electro types don't usually get great coverage. Yeah, I can't put Dragon Pulse or anything on the Ampharos. Don't really need to put it on. Maybe for candy, but this isn't the best gym for- What am I saying? The teams are random. We need to see what Pokemon show up. Now, just because we see the type theme of the gym trainer doesn't mean we're going to know what the gym leader has. Josh. Oddish! Just, just a random Oddish. Okay. Glorophyll. How does Oddish outspeed Porygon? 
It's Porygon 1, so it's got that dial-up internet speed, I suppose. <laughs> Oddish is the defensive one. Bellsprout is the uh, more offense-related one. Perfect. Wrap it by the little leaves and throw it. And then the Hey You Pikachu will eat it. You were too good for me. Aren't always... I love being able to run indoors. Oh, right, I forgot. Emerald puts a double battle here. Um, okay. This is a Nuzlocke, so let's just play it safe and heal that 5 HP. The Pokemon Center's right outside. I don't want to hear anybody, anybody whining about it. Porygon 2 is when the internet got a bit faster, and Porygon Z is when it gets so corrupted because it's trying to steal all your personal data. There we go. Cynthia is going to show Roxanne how it's done. Now, could I go for the Earthquake combo? Not really. Aki's already high enough level. I can always switch these two out if needed, but I'm a bit worried. Hmm. Let's try. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. I know I can battle them one at a time, but I just want to do the double battle, because why not? Harrison executes. Okay. This is the case. Well, Shadow Ball you should be relatively safe to send in Gold Blade. That won't help you. Actually, it will. Shadow Ball is physical. Oops. The whole gym could be grass type, but I don't know if that applies to Roxanne or if it's just coincidence. You're Paris, you ain't living this. Oh, nice, a crit. Gold Blade is gonna destroy everything. Gold Blades may sparkle, but that doesn't mean they're the sharpest. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you made a sword out of gold, it would be extremely terrible. Uh-oh. Good thing Execute has no attack. Sorry, I just had, like, flashbacks to Purity Forest where Barrage just murders you in that game. The random executors on the Skarmory floors. Perfect. Ma like, making gold tools in Harvest Moon. <laughs> That's not a good idea, but... Okay. Positive that the Universal Randomizer type themes uh, give all gym trainers the same type, but does it also give the, the gym leader the same? Let's see. Actually, Silverwind would murder the Execute as well, but may as well do this. Nice. Hydrate. Don't mind if I do. By the way, I don't think I really mentioned it, but it is actually, like, kind of storming outside. All day long, the sky has just been gray, and it's been pouring nonstop. Oh, boy. Hit Shadow Ball, hit Silver Wind. We're gonna go back and heal anyway. Playing games during a storm is pretty comfy, but if I lose power in the recording box, uh, I'm gonna be upset about that. It's fine. I'm going late today because I'm taking tomorrow off. Also, I hope you're all enjoying this. I know that when I play something like this, it very much brings in a lot of new viewers. Like, like I said before, it's not even an exaggeration. Randomizer Egglock in the title just guarantees that the YouTube algorithm is going to shove it in everyone's recommended. Perfect. Which usually means I get a lot of new, like, return viewers, or a lot of comments that are just like, I hate your voice, I'm never watching you again. Oh, get in there, you. No, I shouldn't go fight Roxanne. Hang on. 
Noah's Pass is the only Pokemon with that exact BST, so it's gonna, like, either look up or down to replace the similar strength. Hmm. Why is there commentary? <laughs> yep, thank you for the sub there, friend. We haven't fought this guy yet. Let's do that. Do I want to train the sheep? If we really are going to have a uh, grass type, though... Let's see. Do a little stretch. Why well, keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. You don't know me? We're going to see what he has, chat. Fisherman Ivan. Oh, he's got you, dude. This is a good lead. Yeah, I did a little stretch. Don't worry. No, no, no. That is a very common thing. Unironically, people think it's a meme, but it is very common. People will regularly click on stream bots and ask why I'm talking over the game. And I'm just like, do you, do you know what website you're on? Do you know what Let's Play Stream means? That's just me being pessimistic, though. Perfect. Excellent. Who wants to watch someone play a game silently? Well, people do, but usually they put in no commentary in the in the search bar for that. Larvitar again. Okay. Oop. Level 7? How much is this going to give me? Only 100. Hmm. Do I fight some more wilds or what? I got the quick claw. I picked up all that. Can't really cut down the trees. Because I don't have any Pokemon that can do that. Perfect. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Do I challenge Roxanne, or do I not challenge Roxanne? Now, the idea of the Candy Claws to buff everyone to the next trainer's ace doesn't really work for the first gym leader, does it? Let's get in here. I kind of want some EVs on the Mons as well. The Curlia here would be pretty good if I could KO it consistently. Trace Chlorophyll. Let me get Dino Girl to level 11, because I might need to Toxic whatever the, the Pokemon up ahead is. If it really is Grass-type, I should be okay with my current assortment of Pokemon, but I'm trying to make sure. Okay. Let's do it. The Scyther's been working out pretty good, aside for the Tyrogue, in which case it overkilled it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, hey, Torchic's here. Torchic just so weak, it shows up now. Um... Let Aki just Earthquake it. Training the Mareep isn't really needed right now, since if it is going to be Grass-type, we, um... It's not going to be able to do anything in that battle. It's just going to be a waste of time to train it now. Goodbye, fire chicken. Come on, dino girl, you're so freaking close. Wild starters are always nice. Darn it. I don't want this thing pecking at me. How many of these I got left? Three. I wonder, did you guys also replace both bike sprites? Now we get hop hip. As in, like, does Cynthia have sprites for doing all the tricks on the on the acro bike? Hold up a second. Is anyone close to a level? Scyther is. Every single sprite. You were really upset that when I used the Versus Seeker, Cheryl turned back into Dawn, weren't you? <laughs> Maybe I'll mess around with the acrobike. 
I have been, like, doing something with that recently as well. You'll see. Perfect. I barely have any Pokeballs. It'd be kind of scary to waste them trying to just catch her a cut Pokemon. And there's Spearow again. This route does not want me to level up my Tropius. I'm just going to switch. I am just going to switch. And we're going to go down to the gym next. Kenai. Okay. Try attack. And then we're going to Roxanne. Number 11. Okay. Two and everything's all right. Razor Leaf. I don't need that. I don't need that, right? Like, I'm set up to take advantage of my speed and... Mm. <sighs> uh, do I really need Sunny Day? I mean, Toxic Stalling with Synthesis is cool that way. But I kind of need a move, because all I have is, is Giga Drain, and it's running out real quickly. <laughs> Darn it! Can't decide. <laughs> If I even find the Sunny Day TM, I can replace it later, but I don't know. I know Razor Leaf can miss, but it's 95. Just get rid of Sunny Day. I need the moves, otherwise Tropius is a sitting duck. There we go. It's got stall, but a little too much there. Okay, let's heal, and we're gonna go fight her. No Porygon's the sitting duck. Okay, Missy! You little puns think this is funny, don't you? We restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Well, what do I have on me? Everyone got their Orin Berry. These two are just kinda there, aren't they? This could be a slaughter, or it could be a, a joke. Let's do it. Let's assume the grass type is correct. If not, we're gonna get jump scared. If it is grass type, that means Gold Blade can Aerial Ace, and Aki can Flamethrower it. Hmm. YOLO. Send in the bears! Hey, Roxanne, what's up? Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Gym Leader. I became a gym leader, so I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? And Sludge Bomb, if they're not poison grass. How's it going, Aura as Roxanne? Ooh, I picked a good lead. Okay, let's assume that this the gyms will work like this, or this is just a massive coincidence. And she's gone. 180. Executes. Bring it on. Looks like I over-worried. Level 12, though, like we're equal. Super effective. Okay. Grovile! Okay, there's nothing Grovile can really do to Scyther and Seviper. Should be okay. Level 15, it doesn't have Leaf Blade yet, I'm pretty sure, I hope. It just says Pound. Ooh, you dead! Super dead. 
I was worried for a second, but at level 15, it doesn't have the moves to do anything. She got a potion? It shouldn't matter. Yeah. I got the silver wind boost for once. Teddy's win. We did it again. 13. Jeez, I really overthought that. So I lost. Seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they're defeated gym leader. Please accept the official stone badge. How does stone relate to gra- Oh, never mind. I can think of a connection now that I say it out loud. The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. And lets you use cuts. That technical machine gives you Rock Tomb. Use a TM, teaches a Pokemon. Is there side sprite also? Yep, look at that. Battle many trainers and learn things. Get out, get out of the way. Team Aqua Lady stole it. Wait, please, don't take my goods. Hold up. Now, I think they go up to, like, level 13, 14. It should be a Dust Skull again. Or maybe not, for all we know. Did she have a Mushroom Mutt? She did! She had a Paris. At least it wasn't TM Tombstoner. <laughs> we, got, we definitely got an item or an attack that stones the opponents. Hey, it's me, Cynthia. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in some serious trouble. When's my next chance to get an egg? Fishing in Duford, because the old rod is there. Um, and Granite Cave. Perfect. Ordinarily, Brawly can be a pain in the ass because of his Makahita using Arm Thrust and Bulk Up. I could fish in Petalburg as well if I go back, that's true. No cut for me. What am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar, Pico. I could also go back and fish in the route above Rustboro, or I could just go through Meteor Falls later. There's gonna be... We can reasonably get, like, every egg in the game, I feel. And if not, at the very end, I can also hatch them all like I did before. Ugh, keel haul it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you. Do you want to battle me? You know, I always found it funny how, for the Oraz redesigns... Team Magma is just like, yeah, we're still guys and gals wearing hoodies. And then Team Aqua, they're just like, yeah, look at this. This looks dr very drastically different from the old design. Oh, Swinubs. Okay. Traced Oblivious. Should be okay. A try attack him. He's got no... S they got that super pirate design. I mean, it looked very basic in the old versions, didn't they? on. Tackle. You silly little swine. Yay. The swine has powered me up. Look at that. Oh, my career in crime comes to a dead end. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job. All I had to do was steal a package from Devin. You want it back so badly? Take it. Hello, Mr. Old Man. Nico, am I glad to see you're safe. Nico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Bryony. You are? Oh, so you're Cynthia. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. Okay, perfect.
Now we're gonna get back and get the Pokenav. I can actually take advantage of rematching trainers in this game with Match Call. Uh, does anyone remember the rule? If someone wants to look up the Bulbapedia article, feel free, but... I, I know there's, like, a rule to Trainer Eyes versus Match Call. I think it's, like, a, every certain amount of steps or something, like, it resets a chance for a trainer to be rematched. Or that may have been Ruby and Sapphire, because I know Emerald does it differently for some reason. Another Cleffa has just been bopped. The remains will not be found. It will remain an unsolved mystery near Rustboro for all eternity. Technically, if you go to the side... To the sides of Duford, you're on the ocean route when you fish there, so I could get more eggs from that. Disgusting, isn't it? Too bad I don't have an EXP share. That would help. Just created a new Pokemon Creepypasta. You know what I should start doing? For fun, and also to piss people off? Photoshopping horrifying faces onto Cleffas. Just make that my entire social media post from now on. I did that once for a Digimon and it creeped people out. They were like, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, I was bored. I wanted to Photoshop the Digimon's face. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's over here. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. By the way, that parcel you got back for us, can I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slayport? It'd be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Ahaha, <laughs> so can I count on you to do that? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here? It was Terriermon. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Clef the Killer? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that image you put in my head. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of Devon Corporation. Anyways, I would like to give you a cell phone, and then I would like to give you a physical letter to deliver to my son, because for some reason I don't trust our products enough to do... to use our cell phones. <laughs> you ever think about that? Anyone ever question the logic of this? It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check st places out. And he heals me. Well, then, go with caution and care. I can come back with a fossil later for an, a Pokemon check here. Get in there. Match call is only an emerald. Ruby and Sapphire just have, like, a rematch thing. I've been developing an added feature for the nav. It turned out great. Cynthia, can I see your nav? There you go. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Pokenav. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered to your Pokenav. Cynthia, our President Stone would be registered in your nav. Test it out. Okay. Hello? Since you called me, the nav must be working. Other people will be registered. Try calling them up. Good, good. You seem quite happy. How can I know that? Because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Ha ha ha. See ya. Okay, better get back to work. Please take care, Cynthia. I just added a, pe a feature to call people on your phone. Can you believe it? Now let's heal and get out of here. Oh, wait, no. He already healed me at the top of the, the office. Oh, well. Force of habit. Restored your Pokemon to full health. No Steven being the champion here. Emerald decided to be special. What are you looking at? Don't look at me. Oh, hey, Cynthia. You had a match call feature put on your nav. Uh, cool. Let's register each other so we can get in touch anytime. Registered Brendan in the Pokenav. By the way, I walked by Mr. Briny in Petalburg Woods. Betty was on his way home to his cottage. How's your Pokedex? Have you filled any pages? Mine rules. Want to have a battle? Let's do it. I know you just became a trainer, but it won't go easy. I'll show the map icon in a second. I can also do that from, like, any Pokemon Center. He's got Beldum! He's gonna go takedown. That might be annoying. Hmm. This is a problem, yes. 
quite a problem. Levels are a tad high for this boy, ain't they? Kind of in trouble, I can't toxic it. Just gotta hit it with flamethrower. Or better yet, earthquake. Hold up. Let me check my stats. Got Norm Barry, don't worry. Like 100, nope, 95. Earthquake would be slightly better than... He doesn't have Levitate, right? Pretty sure he doesn't. There we go. Clear body, yeah, that was it. Duck even traced it, but I missed that. Trap Inch, okay. That was a bit scary right there, wasn't it? Yeah. Probably shouldn't have agreed to a battle with him. Level 15 on you. Let's hit him with the harder move. Oh, sand attack, huh? That's a pain in the ass. And I missed. And he bit. Good. One of these is a starter, yeah. But it's fine. Was a little bit worried when Beldum came out. Mm, you're pretty good. By the way, you know Mr. Briny, the guy I just passed? I bet you didn't know this since you just moved here, but he was once a great sailor. Yes, I did know that. You only mentioned it a billion times. Pokeball. Should I buy ten more of these? I will. Couple more potions for the road. That'll do. Brendan carries his starter the whole time. Oh, does that mean he's gonna have a Flygon by the end? Ooh. We're gonna have to be careful of that, clearly. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Okay, maybe now I can finally start leveling up the... Leveling up the sheep a bit, yeah. Too bad there's no one to really fight right out here. Can't get that item, because I don't want to cut. Or that one over there. For now, Cynthia, just do a little do a little run. You're fine. If I had a nice Pokemon, I'd be using it right now. Hold on, lass. Mm, you're Cynthia. You saved my darling Pico. We owe you so much. What's that? You want to sail? Hmm? You have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slayport? Quite busy life. Certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Duford it is, then. Anchors away. Let me get a drink and fix my posture. Yes, sirree. Uh-oh, we gotta stop the boat. I got a call. Oh, Cynthia, where are you? It sounds windy. I just heard from Devin, Mr. Stone. Or Devin's Mr. Stone about your Pokenav, so I decided to give you a call. Sounds like you're doing fine. You take care. Register Dad Norman in the Pokenav. The whole boat needs to stop so I can get reception. This boat is going pretty fast. Ahoy, we've hit land in Duford. Perfect. Let me check this here. Yeah, you wanted to show off your map icon? There you go. Hang on, I think I can get something here, right? Forge your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion. Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here, I want you to have it. Duford has really good music, yeah. Duford seems like one of the coziest places to live, but there's no shopping. 
See, this is a route right here. I could bring the old rod there and fish. And I could fish in the water right here in Duford. And then I can go up here. And it becomes Route 106. And then I can go to Granite Cave and get another egg. But before that, maybe get some battles in here. Candy is dandy and ready to fight. What do people do if they need to go into a washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Bro, just invest in adult diapers. That's what they exist for. Fisherman Ned would like to battle. Bro, that's not a fish. That's some garbage you fished out of the water. Um, Earthquake. That's the obvious answer. He's right by the ocean. Well, clearly he doesn't want to pollute it. We humans have put enough of our garbage in there. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. One oh three. I mean, yeah. If you gotta go, you gotta go. What do people actually do when they're out fishing, though? Like when they're on the fishing boats. Not every boat has, like, a built-in restroom, right? You got any fishers in chat that know? Or do you just piss in the ocean? What do you prefer, fishing in the sea or a stream? Oh, I like streams. I'm doing one right now, in fact. Fisherman Elliot. For teeny. That dragon sure is teeny, all right. Okay. I'll send in gold blade here. It is indeed a noodle. I honestly keep forgetting about rap. I gotta be careful about that, don't I? I'm about to hit level 14, so this is good. Okay. Andy is trying to learn Thundershock. Um, I already have Shockwave. Secret power I could probably replace once I get Thunderbolt or something. Yeah, don't remind me about Gen 1 Rap. I had to deal with that in Pokemon Stadium, and my goodness, it upsets me. Wait, Vibriva already? Uh-oh. Uh, I don't have an ice move. Um... That thing could be a little teensy bit scary. Maybe just hit with try attack it should be okay. Keep forgetting gold blade is shiny, I know. It's hard to remember when shiny scyther doesn't look anything different. You know what's infuriating about shiny scyther? Like, yes, um, Scizor came out a gen after scyther, but that but Scizor was introduced the same generation as shiny Pokemon. So why does Scizor get a drastically different shiny, but Scyther looks exactly the damn same? That's so weird. Psybeam. Well, I already have Psychic. Okay. Mm. Okay, here comes Bagon. Um, I'll keep letting the duck get something. I have the upgrade, but it needs to be level 30 for it to work. Try attack has seen some stupid stuff happen with me in Stadium. I love using try attack randomly and just getting like freeze. It's so funny. Stadium 2, anyway. Because Gen 1 try attack can inflict status conditions, which is really weird, because what's the point of the move otherwise? Maybe it's glitched and it didn't work properly. I know that Rock Slide had, had that issue. Did you guys know about this? In Gen 1, Rock Slide didn't flinch, but. Um, the character that gives you the Rock Slide TM has a, line of, has a line of dialogue that says that it can sometimes spook the opponent. However, in Pokemon Yellow, they actually remove that extra line. So the implication is that the move didn't work properly. So they're like, oops, may as well take this out. Fishing's great, but so is battling. If you don't mind, can we meet again? Let's get this item over here. Max Elixir. Perfect. Same deal with that trainer in um, Sabrina's Gym. Where, um... What was it? Yeah, Ghost-type is accidentally immune to Psychic. Or 
no, sorry, I have it backwards. Yeah, we all know that Ghost is supposed to be super effective on Psychic, but in Gen 1, Psychic types are immune to Ghost type accidentally, and in Yellow version, they just took away an NPC line of dialogue that says otherwise, because they couldn't fix it for compatibility reasons. Okay. RNG duck is like that. Well, let's hop in here now, just for a little bit. Hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead, it'll be tough. Now I could check out some of the wild Pokemon. First, let's make our first catch inside the cave here. And then I'll go get the old rod. I know you guys want to see me hatch the eggs, you want the gotcha experience, don't you? Is he gonna get the five-star anime girl? Oh wait, I'm already playing as the anime girl. Surskit. Okay. Pretty weak looking there. Throw some Pokeballs at it. No! Come on, it can't be that tough. This thing literally can't do anything, right? I usually don't see Sir Skit in Hoenn because it doesn't exist in Emerald version. It's only in Ruby and Sapphire, mostly. Gonna have to weaken it at this rate, but I don't want to. Two, three. Excellent. And you know what comes next now? Now we have to randomize an egg. Yay. They gather on puddles after evening downpours, gliding across the uh, surface of water as if sliding. It secretes honey with a sweet aroma from its head. Oh, Teddy Ursus will be going after that thing. Get it. You can't outrun the honey bear. 103. Number 103. Let's go back and get it. And get the honey out like a straw. That's right. Teddy's been good. It deserves a treat. That Surskit doesn't need its honey to live, right? Is it even real honey if it comes out like that? Is that a real thing, by the way? Pond skater honey. I'm kind of curious now. Hold up. First, let's go to the actual thing here. Let's put the potato away. I literally already have a grass flying, so this thing is kind of useless to use at the moment. Okay. Oh, wait, what am I doing? It, it, yeah, it accidentally went here. 106, 105, 104, 103. Sounds more like honeydew, which many real insects do produce. Okay. And the old rod guy should be here. This is a renowned fishing spot. You getting the itch to fish? I hear you. I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. As an added bonus, I'll even throw in a little fishing advice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to fish. You don't need to tell me how this works. But first, let's hatch the first egg, why don't we? Wait, what level was the surskit? You're gonna have to remind me. I need to give the Beldum one egg as well, because the Kleppa. Level 7 was the surskit? Okay. I want the egg to hatch. I want to see who what it is. You guys ready for gotcha? You better be. A random RNG of the eggs. Hatch. A Torkoal. A turtle friend. I need a fire type, actually. Hmm. Torkoal from wet charcoal. Okay. Hmm. I don't think it's a Pikachu, no. Um... Probably can't learn Cut. Yeah, it could make use of its defense. Smokey the Turtle. Let's have a look. 
quirky nature. Isn't quirky neutral? White smoke. That's pretty good. Overheat, body slam, flail, and attract. Okay. Its attack stats are equal. Hmm. I definitely want to get its level up. I'm getting quite a few Pokemon that can't really evolve for a while, but this is okay. I mean, Scyther and Porygon aren't exactly standalone. They can evolve, but I can't do that till later. I'm assuming that if I want to evolve to Scizor, I also need to uh, be level 30 for a Metal Coat to work, don't I? Let's level up Smokey. Save the other eggs as a little surprise. First. Let's run into some wild Pokemon here. Come on. Maybe we need a baby form of Torkoal. Did I candy it? I did not. The pattern on its head looks weird there. Hold up. I didn't give it its two candies. Silly me. Send in Aki. Torkoal baby form? Call it mini coal. Torkoal doesn't have any other forms or anything, right? Never got, like, Gigantamax, a mega form, or anything like that. Yay. It got drought. I suppose that's true. Getting drought is a pretty big deal. Curse. No, no, no. You don't say curses. You say happy words on this chat. Go, go, go. Oh, there's an item over there. Let's get that. You know, there's only wild Pokemon in here. I may as well just go through the cave right now and get to Steven. There's no trainers to fight. I know my way through the cave without Flash. Um... I can Earthquake this, I guess. Chat, do you like Baby Turtle? Better. Excellent. Groudon's banned. That's why you use Torkoal. Or Ninetales. Ninetales also got Drought. I don't know anything about competitive Mons, though. Hang on, I didn't fall asleep, right? Good. Ash had a Torkoal in the anime. Ash has a lot of things. That doesn't make them cool. There we go. I'm sorry to break the hard truth to you, but that's just how it is. There it is. And from here, I look for the stairs. Hey, look at you. This I can also switch and use Earthquake on. Aki's been pretty good to me as a starter. Yeah, it has white smoke. It's not gonna have drought, if that's what you mean. Uh-oh. Well, that's annoying. But it's Chin Show, so this could be a good haul, so let's go for it. No! Wait, white smoke increases encounters in Emerald, does it? I thought that was Illuminate. I will try once more. Damn it! Come on! You are upsetting me. Fine, I'm not risking anything more. That's too much. I thought White Smoke decreased them. Or was that Intimidate? Emerald was the first game that introduced secondary effects for abilities, if it's the lead Pokemon. Uh, I got potions. Yeah, Emerald version was the first game that let you... let you hatch eggs faster with Flame Body. Intimidate's secondary effect was that it... Okay, there's fur it there. Intimidate's effect, or secondary effect, was that it reduces encounters. Lightning Rod, surprisingly, makes it so that you get more phone calls more often. That's a very, very strange secondary effect. And Swarm also has one where, you know how sometimes you can hear Pokemon cries in the overworld in the background? That play, They play more often if you have Swarm. Pressure gives you higher level encounters. I didn't know about that one. White smoke decreases encounters. Okay. 
I didn't know about that about white smoke because Torco is the only one that has it, right? Perfect. I should be okay. Oh, that's a crit. Okay, I'm fine. I'm healing. I'm healing. Nature is healing. The bananas are growing. And the ferrets are getting delete. What, what, what are you doing? Stop that. Why do you have an orange berry? You need to die. Come on. Stop that. Hit three times. Come on. Just finish it now. This had better have been worth it. 99. It's okay, but... Him hitting me with that stab move is a little scary. Here it is. Okay, now I go up and to the right until I see... Ladder. Go to left. And we're done. See? I told you I knew my way through. At this point, I just have this entire cave memorized. I don't even need to light it up. Smokey should be able to do this by itself, I hope. Unless we get hit by... You know, let's overheat. Let's overkill. Come on. And finish it with Body Slam. The item in the dark? Nah. I don't really care enough to. You mean the Everstone, right? Okay, Smokey's getting strong. Smokey's got some good defense. Let's go see our boy, Steven. Oh, hey, he looks different too. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter? Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that? I need to thank you. Let me see. I'll give you a TM. Contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Only one of my Pokemon will learn it. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League. That's what I think. I know. Since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another on our navs. Whew. I feel like I'm out of breath. Now I've got to hurry along. I have delivered the mail. You know what? Let's go get the Everstone. Why not? Let's see what it is. Because it, it should be random. Okay, to the side. I just gotta look for the other staircase. It's right up there. Oh, hey, look at look who it is. But I can't catch you, friends. It's against the rules! Hmm. I'll let Goldblade do it. Should I just catch this thing for the sake of, um, using HMs? I kind of feel like I should. Because it would suck to just not be able to access trainers because of this, right? I think I should. Make an exception. Because Hoenn is really dumb about cut early on. We'll call it HM Dude. Or HM Gal. Gimme. Zigzagoon and Lanoon learn, like, everything. Okay. There you go. HM Gal was transferred to this. Oh, yeah, I was looking for the item. Well. Um. I already got one of those, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't need a second one. What are the odds of that? Hmm. It should still be safe to take this thing out if it doesn't supersonic me. Would I get a second upgrade? Unfortunately, I can't go to Porygon Z because it doesn't work like that. 
bubble. Bubble for your trouble? Okay, listen here, mister. That's not very fun. Porygon Z isn't real until Sinnoh. Team Galactic made it, apparently. Kind of. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, Pokemon, like, were given different evolution items as regional variants? Well, they do do that, but you know what I mean. Like, imagine people just making fan art of a Pokemon. Like, here's what happened if, um, this Pokemon gets the dubious disc instead. Like, instead of Magnezone, you get, like, um... I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't even think of a clever name. <laughs> or give the Reaper Cloth to Pikachu instead of Raichu. He becomes, uh, Daichu. Now, that was a clever one right there. I deserve some bits for that. I deserve some subs for my humor. Hey, Surskit. Darth Chu. I don't think that really works. I can't believe I only really got one level. Okay, he's gonna bubble me. Hell Chu. Oh, you actually gifted a sub. Thank you. Do it again. <laughs> I'm joking. Streamer is bullying for subs. One bit is all you can spare. Really? One bit is all you can spare when you watch my stream? I think you can afford more. I need to do the intentional bitchy voice, otherwise people won't think I'm kidding. Oh, hey, chicken. Remember, the Pokedex says that Torchic gives very warm hugs. And that's why we must kill it. Shiny, sick, Viper. Sorry, chicken. You've brought this on yourself. No hugs. Only death. Perfect. You know what would make a really funny new form of, um... Oh, look at that Rattata sprite. The crusty Rattata Hoenn sprite. I love it. It looks like someone just threw it in the game at the last minute. <laughs> and they're like, we'll make the real one when Fire Red and Leaf Green shows up. It doesn't even look like an official sprite, does it? Pidgey and Rattata look so bad. Surprised they bothered to animate it for Emerald version. Um, it's in a gold blade. I'm kind of worried about it, like, not being able to run because it's fast. What was I saying? I got distracted. Right. Um, if I were to make a regional variant of Blaziken, what if instead of it being about kicks, it just has, like, punches or something? I've just invented Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> Go, go, go. Quackwavel is basically Water Blaziken. Excellent. Remember when that Pokemon was finally revealed and everyone complained about it? Now everyone just doesn't care? That's every... That is every starter Pokemon ever. Oh, look. Dino Pair. New starter comes out. Everyone says it looks dumb because it doesn't look like what they speculated it to be. Overheat. And then we like it after a little bit. Like in Teleon, Cinderace, and Rillaboom. Excellent. Perfect. There we go. Well, usually what happens is, like, they reveal Pokemon like Sobble, and then everyone makes a billion different pieces of fan art. And they're like, this is what I think it's going to look like. And then they get Inteleon, and they're like, what? How dare you? That is is dumb. It looks stupid. I hate it! You ruined my childhood. There we go. Inteleon's a super spy because the water starter and regional dexes are always number 007. That's just a James Bond joke. I thought that was pretty cute. Because <laughs> Galar Region is the British one. I like, I, what is it they did for his Gigantamax form? They made him like, they gave him a sniper tower for uh, his tail. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> there we go. I guess we can catch our eggs now. I did just heal up. 
Hmm. Let's put you up front. Magikarp replacement shouldn't be anything powerful. I got enough Pokeballs for this, too. Okay, you guys ready? Let's fish some eggs. You have got to be kidding me. It's gonna teleport! <laughs> it's gonna teleport! <laughs> no! No! Throw the Great Ball! It's the only chance we have! Everybody hold up your plushies and give me good luck. No! Well. Oh. Of all the Pokemon to replace Magikarp. Wait, you know what I should do now? I don't care, Elliot. Stop talking to me. I think I need to save. Wait for the good rod. If I keep using the old rod, I'm gonna keep running into Abras and they're gonna teleport. <laughs> Is it per route or global? I don't know. It's not safe to fish. I can't do it. Route 107 is now done. We can't. We're gonna have to wait till the good rod. Forget the eggs. It's not safe. <laughs> it could be the tentacle, cool, but it also could just be more Abras. I knew we were getting too lucky. Well, we can go ahead and fight the tra some of the trainers in here now. We don't need to fight Brawly. I could keep fishing on that route to see which is more common, because maybe Abra is the tentacle replacement, but either way, it's still not the safest, right? Ooh. Let me fix my thing over here. Old Rod in Gen 3 is like a high chance of Magikarp and a small chance of Tentacool. Okay, Barboach, level 13. So is this a water or ground gym? We're about to find out. Shadow Tag does prevent teleport, but only Wobbuffet has it. It could be coded per route, but do I want to risk the first encounter to find that out? That's what I'm worried about. Uh-oh. Ooh, you can't hit me with Mud Slap, my boy. Darn it. We don't know for sure what kind it is. Is it water or ground? I need to know. Fight one more trainer. This whole gym layout is different. Oh no, this is the double battle, guys! Oh! Hang on, hang on. Oofufu, are you stumbling around in the dark? I'll show you the gumption of a sailing man. Hang on. Feel. It's a water gym. Okay. Well, at least Tropius will be good here, but Smokey... I could try and train up the, the Mareep instead, but... Hang on. Send in Dino Girl. And... Does Silverwind... No, it doesn't hit both. Silverwind the Spiel. Okay, let's do it. I need to go back and use Cut to fight those extra trainers at Rustboro. Especially since I'm not safe to get some eggs. Oh! No! I didn't think about it having an ice move this early. Well then. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Scyther will kill it. It outspeeds it. So we can Giga Drain you, and we can Silver Wind and finish off the spiel. There you go. I was terrified for a second. I thought Spiel had to get a little higher for that. Smokey leveled up. 69. Nice, nice. It's bubbling for some trouble. Gyms seem to have the same type. So that means Brawly is going to have two water Pokemon, replacing the strength of Machop and Makuhita. Is it time to just use candies? Because people said the candy claws should be to get your team to the level of the trainer's ace. Because otherwise it's just grinding for 10 hours between every battle, especially after the first little bit of the game. 
how this happened. It's not like me to lose anyway. Okay, let's go back now. Wait, does Brawly have three Pokemon in Emerald? I thought he only had two. In Ruby and Sapphire, he definitely just has Machop and Makahita. Yeah, because grinding needlessly like that. Like, there were, when I did the Platinum Egglock, there were entire streams that were just grinding and it got so freaking boring and annoying. Excellent. And I mean, let's be real, this is a Nuzlocke stream, so no matter what I do, someone's going to complain anyway. Right, he gets Machop, Meditite, and Makahita in Emerald. Okay, then. What is the... What is the level of Brawly's Ace? Is it really 19? Really? Really? Okay. Fair enough. Let's go get the money and stuff from doing that. I mean, that will save me from just needless grinding, you're right. Let's try and fish and Petalburg. I'll take that risk. People want me to try that. Okay. Okay. Wait, I could test the old rod on this route because I've already visited it. That's also true. Let's try that. It won't be guaranteed to be a water Pokemon. Let me put the duck up front. Okay, let's fish here for a little bit and check the encounters, if they'll all be Abra. Because maybe Abra could just be, like, the Magikarp of 107, or is it replacing Magikarp in every route? Uh, okay. Wonderful. Trace that. Go with try attack, I guess. Okay, good. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Okay, I burned it. Also, I just realized what time it is. Uh, Dylan's gonna want me to play Lethal Company in, like, just under an hour. I still plan to do that. I got it installed before starting today. I'm gonna try a couple encounters, yeah. Keep going. I don't really need to fight them if I'm gonna Candy Claws as well. Perfect. Pokemon's on the hook. Okay, so far it seems like you're common. I could try and fish in Petalburg now for a new egg. Yeah. I think using the Candy Claws would be good for like that. <laughs> I don't really want to play with Zip Zoom speed up, so that works too. Because, like, after I did Platinum, um, just literally everybody was just telling me, it's like, yeah, everyone else does this because they also think the grinding's annoying as hell. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach Slateport, but we got about 50 minutes to keep playing. Okay. We're going to try and catch a Pokemon here now. Are you guys excited? I know I'm excited. I'm going to save again. Let's see if we can get an egg. Hatching the eggs is half the fun. Perfect. Dot, 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 dot. Pokemon's on the hook. Get out of here. Get out of here. <sighs> Not you again, huh? You're at full health. You can't die, right? Can we all collectively agree that he can't live a silver wind at full health? Probably. Four, level 14 and he's level 10. You're scaring me now. I am just gonna try a Pokeball. How about that? How about that? Let's throw a Pokeball at him. Get in the ball! Come on. Oh, 
why can't you just get caught? It's a problem. Fury Cutter powers up in a way where he's going to leave him at green, where he's going to die from the next hit. Ah! Why are you such a disgusting little gremlin? Fine then. then. We'll do this like this? We'll do this like this, you piece of garbage. Die to a crit now. You're gonna run out of moves! Just get him to yellow without killing him with a crit, please. That's all I want! Okay, there we go. Get in the ball, buddy! He's not getting in the ball. He's not getting in the ball! Just be caught, I want egg. I want egg! If I'm gonna do Candy Cap, I guess I don't really need to go back to Rustboro's uh, cut trees, do I? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Tyro becomes stressed out if they do not get the train every day. Well, I get stressed out when I see one. Hmm. Okay, let's get a random number. That random number. Number 29. Have I already rolled that one? I think I did. Or was that 59? Well, let's just put it here for now. Let's go get the egg. And then we'll just boost ourselves to 19. I guess. Maybe when I get to Brawly is when I should do that. Twenty-nine. No, the number generator doesn't keep track of that. Okay, here we go. Let's get a free egg. Whoopsie. Hmm. Smokey can go for a second. Does that mean the Beldum and Hopip should also just go right up to, right up to nineteen? Well, yeah, doing that would give me more variety of Pokemon to use for each fight. I can plan more accordingly to cover weaknesses, can I? Yeah, that would work better. Better than getting stuck with the same six Pokemon and everyone sits disappointed because they're egg hatched and I don't get to use it unless I get a team wipe. <laughs> yeah. That would be much better. Much more efficient. Anyways, let's hatch the egg here and then we'll go back. You can't hatch eggs on the boat. I don't think you can anyway. Huh? Oh, hey, Skarmory. Another flying type. Thank you for the sub, friends. Would you like to nickname the newly hatched Skarmory? Of course we will. We're gonna call it... Uh, what do I... What should I call it? Blade? That's ridiculously simple. Why would I do that? From Don Chokyo? Okay. Half my Pokemon don't evolve, but it's all right. Shadow, you want me to call it Shadow Silver Blade? No, that's not gonna match. That's silly, silly. One streamer did a rule where they have to use every egg they received at least once. Butt face, I'm not gonna call it that. What are these nicknames you guys are giving me? Blade Edge, he's not an elemental hero. Edge Lord, Iron Wing. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Good golly. You are all are giving terrible names for this. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go with something else. We're gonna call it um uh oh gosh, now I can't think of anything. Uh um Right now I'm now I have pressure. 
Now I'm pressured, everybody. You happy about that? Terrible names. Terrible names are flooding chat. You're all... Steve. Kevin. I'm not gonna call it that. You know, it's just for that now. We, we need to get a move on. I'm calling it John. It is now John the Skarmory. Sturdy, adamant. Ooh, drill pack. Torment, steel wing. Don't know if I really be using torment fetch, but hey, this is cool. John Skarmory. Okay. Now let's get to level 10, replacing the Pokemon I caught, right? Do this. John Mori. <laughs> no. Level 8. John is just simple and ready. Sand attack? I don't think so. No. I'm trying to learn sand attack. Okay, now let's go back to the Duford. Should I beat all the gym trainers first? Like, if the gym leader is literally like the last person I can fight, then it's probably fair to give everyone their, their level, right? It already knows Steel Wing. Why would I teach it that? <laughs> Let's go! Route 106. Nothing here. Try fishing, but now I'm scared. Ahoy, we've hit land in Duford. You tell me whenever you want to do. I feel like those stacks of candies are going to go real quick. can still fish in 106 and uh do for it itself hmm do i want smoky no this is a water gym so i don't want smoky there but i don't need candy here either dino girl would be pretty good assuming we don't bump into any ice types I need to beat the remaining trainers first, that's the problem. How many Orin Berries I got? Two. Dino Girl used hers up. Hmm. Gold Blade and Aki should be okay here. Let's finish off the trainers first, and then we'll candy our way for a real fight. Excellent. Is this another double battle? Okay, good. Might is right, come on. Pow, got a tentacle. Well, you got no physical defense. You're gonna die. Perfect. 292. Playing this way will also prevent us from having to spend 10,000 hours. Um. Yeah, 10,000 hours grinding each episode. Okay, there you are. If you mean to pass, it has to be through me. This might be the last guy, but I think there's more. Emerald has a different amount of trainers here compared to Ruby and Sapphire. Whooper! Look at it. The Whooper is unleashed. Tail Whip. Gold Blades Defense Spell. No problem. If you throw a whooper, would it still be smiling? I'm not sure. You can grab its tail and just yeet it. Grr, vastly overpowered. Ah, there you are. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. I think they put that trainer there, because that's where Brawly is positioned in Ruby and Sapphire. He's in the top right. Now he's in the top left. Arvana. Hit him with a silver wind. Beautiful. Player defeated Battle Girl Jocelyn. And I think that might be it. 
Oh yeah, Surfer Dude Brawly. Everyone's beaten, so now let's go back and do and get ready. Fighting types defeat darkness. Yeah, that's the puzzle. Or they just did something wacky and random. Doesn't really matter. He's gonna be using water types though, so. Okay, so we're in agreement, chat. 99. To 19. False swipe. I could probably make use of that, actually. <laughs> um... I think Fury Cutter can go at this point. Silver Wind is gonna be better. Yeah, let's go. Fury Cutter's bad. Yeah, we're doing Candy Claws. Should probably take the hop Hop-Ip out, because we don't want to use Smokey. Everyone's going to the level cap of the, the next ace. We're recommended to do this because other streamers do it. And I don't have to spend a thousand streams grinding. Okay. This way everyone can possibly see their eggs get used, too. No grinding. Heck yeah. Cheer, cheer with bears. If it makes comments mad, it just adds more engagement to the YouTube video. You're right. Amazing. Hang on now. We're dealing with water types, so we should be okay. Everyone's posting cheering Teddy Ursa emotes now. Chat is happy. Oh, random, random deaths during grinding are just miserable. I hate those. I don't get EVs this way, yes. Uh, I'm not gonna go Poison Tail. None. This means I can mix up the team. Perfect. I'm worried I'm gonna accidentally level up too much with them. Stop using Screech. Pokemon's not being used. I can also candy them to the cap between streams as well, for simplicity's sake. Let's do this. Everyone gets a treat. 19 isn't going to evolve me to Meetang, though. Victory Screech. I think this this current team right now is good for good for that. I don't think I need to bring in Skiploom. Skiploom can't really do anything. And if there's an ice move, it's extra gonna die. Oof. Fix my seat. I think the last, uh, during the last one, the reason I didn't do Candy Claws is mainly because I thought it would just piss off the comments, but <laughs> they get pissed at everything anyway, it's fine. I'm making it sound like it's a me versus YouTube thing, but that's fine. Most of you YouTube comments are fine. Don't worry, you're all good moments. Except for the, the random Kleppas in there. Yep, the only difference is the tail gem for Shiny Flappy. Okay, one more for you. Thunder Wave. Um, that might be better than Body Slam right now. I don't need Body Slam, because I don't really use an attack stat. A modest nature. We'll take T-Wave. I don't need Secret Power, either. We'll place that with Thunderbolt when we get to it. Oh, it's 19. Okay, I thought I would overdid it for a second. I gotta be careful I don't autopilot that while I'm mashing the button. Okay. Chaotic, uh, Chaotic Sonic 69 will tell you how he would have dealt with the fished up Abra. <laughs> yes. I'm probably gonna put the Quick Claw on Candy, yeah. Dino Girl wants the Stomp. Nope. Candy for Candy. 
I'm gonna run out of candies at this rate, you think? I don't think it'll be that bad. Look how many were put in here for this. That's a lot. We can cross that bridge when we get to it. Can always put more in if needed. Johnny Ampharos is sick. It's pink with blue gems. Ten stacks of that? Yeah, it should be pretty good. Swift. Nah, you don't need that. If it's water types... Mm, I'm worried about the random water ice type, so maybe Dino Girl isn't the best start. If I want the EVs, I need the train for them, to, though. There we go. Controlling my EVs would be pretty good, too. Like, it would take a bit to find a Pokemon or a wild Pokemon grind for attack EVs. Give that to Skarmory. Porygon looks like candy. Alright, let's do this. There, wasn't that more fun than 45 minutes in the cave? Still got secret power, do you, girl? Quick claw. I don't really have anything for the silk scarf. Um, I don't really have anything for Skarmory. Oh, I have one more Ornberry. I guess I can do that. I feel like maybe starting with Aki should be okay. Chill candy time. Well, that's the thing, right? The whole point of streaming is to be fun. Silk Scarf Try Attack? Um, that could be okay, actually. Yeah, let me do that. Perfect. We can do more fishing in a bit. Let's go fight Brawly, now that we're prepared for it. What's Watson's uh, highest level? I'm curious what our next cap is going to be. Big save in case crash. Jeez, it really has been almost three hours, hasn't it? Sick. 24, are we certain it, that's for Emerald? Watson has, like, a Magneton as his best Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire, but in Emerald, it's actually Manetric. So random. Okay, I'm ready. Let's hope no one dies. I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. You've been churned in the rough ways of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you want to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Let's do it. Cool. Brawly would like to battle. Barboach. Okay, we can handle this. It could mud slap me, but that's not gonna kill me. Okay. Mm. Chat, this is a quick question. Does ground resist poison? My brain is suddenly like, does it do that? I can't remember. Yeah, it does, okay. I was worried for a second. Try earthquake. Get rid of them. Immune? I'm pretty sure it's not immune to it. Horsey. Okay. Let's let Dino Girl do it now. Get a poison type run? Definitely no. Alrighty. I'll do a monotype run, uh, monotype run Sunday. Always seemed like a fun idea. The last big Pokemon playthrough I did was for Black and White 3. That Gen 2 hack that puts you over it in, in that... Puts Unova in a Gen 2 game. That's what I'm trying to say. Holy crap, I can't talk. I'm scaring away new viewers. This is going good. Seems like he didn't get... Wingull! Wingull is not similar strength to Makuhita. Are you serious? Wow, I just looked like I cheaped out on this, didn't I? <laughs> get him, Candy. Man, he did not- the randomizer did not give him anything good. I got- I should just take it as getting lucky. Clearly. Killed. Well then. <laughs> Brawly got scammed by the rando. 
No, I think I like this better. More fun. Knuckle badge from Brawly. Knuckle badge makes Pokemon up level 30, even though you get in trades. Obey. Use the HM move flash. You know another reason I don't think I want to spend forever grinding back and forth in the caves? That was pretty much the entirety of Crystal Kaizo, wasn't it? Makihita can be a little annoying early on if it gets that arm thrust and bulk up going. Okay. Now that we've done that, I think it's time to do some catching. Let's false swipe whatever's here. You ready? I'm ready for Teddy. Come on. Wingull has 270 BST. Makahita has 237 BST. Wow. Are you serious? That's kind of pathetic. Anyways, let's use False Swipe. Wow, I didn't even get it. Need to get it down to one. Goldene is actually supposed to be here. Maybe with a good rod. It's level 9, but we can boost anything level 19. Until I reach Watson, that is. There's a lot of trainers along the way, though, so... Okay. Goldene's a freshwater fish, not a saltwater fish. Well then, let's hatch the eggs. Are you ready for more gotcha? I can't wait to pull the five-star anime, girl. I already made that joke, but I'm making it again. Doing the same thing and over and over, just like gotcha. Hold up, did I say say it out loud? It was 72. 72. Okay. Number 72, coming right up. Hang on, let's go catch another one right now. Pokemon for 106. Pull the event, girl. Excellent. Come on. Pokemon's on the hook. Oh, hey. Wait, hang on. It's Silk. Wait, hang on a second. Um... Is this the same route as, um, as, uh, what Mr. Like Briny's Cottage? I'm a little worried about that. No, it's a different route. Are you sure? I'm gonna check the map, but I'm gonna catch it for now. Or did the game just actually put these both here? It's actually a coincidence. That was 104, this is 106. Oh, you're right. Huh, that is weird. So there's also 105, which is where the Reggie Cave is between them. Okay. You guys ready to see two more eggs hatch? I know you are. This is what you came to see. I am going to randomize like I've never randomized before. 26! Number 26, coming right up. Wait, didn't I get 24 and 25? Well then. Hang on, just so we can dispel all arguments and comment sections. <laughs> That's a lie. 106, 105, yep, 104. Ah, what a coincidence right there. It's probably because of the similar strength rule that it ended up that way. Still a really small chance. Hey chat, we're ready for gotcha. Everyone hold up your plushies for good luck. Wait, what am I saying? You guys gave me all the eggs. So you better give me good stuff. You hear? Hold up. Let me put some Pokemon down for a second. Candy is dandy, and it needs to rest. John is okay. Number 72, 30, 60... Let's see, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66... 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Making sure I count carefully like a good woman. Be absolute drama if I miscounted. 26. So we're going up to 30, 29, if we know where it is, but 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. 
So I didn't get 25. That was it? 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. We're getting a lot of box one. Two in box two. Couple in box three. They're pretty even so far. Are you ready for eggs? You better be. Let's run back and forth, enjoy the Duford music, and hatch it. Why is there a blank in box three? Because I think that was like the first egg where the Jirachi went. I could just put Jirachi in that spot for completion's sake. Okay. Why? We just learned how bad this thing is, and you give it to me? Ugh. I'm gonna call it sugar. Because it's like a bag of sugar, and it boxes like uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. There we go. How about that? That works. Adamant Nature, Knock Off, Brick Break, Earthquake, and Refresh. Well, it's got moves, I'll give it that. Not your average little friend there. And we're gonna bump it up to 19. You know what I should do? I should bump the, the excess Pokemon off stream so we don't sit here on the candy screen all day because it's a lot slower than Gen 4. You guys know what Pokemon we're hatching. You'll see it in reserve. What do you want? Oh, hello, Cynthia. This is Roxanne Rustboro. I heard from Brawly you're moving up the ranks of trainers. Well, I'd rather not think that I can't beat you. I promise I'll shape up my gym so you can challenge us again. Hope you'll be looking forward to the occasion as much as me. Click. Let's go. Oh, you submitted it, Batman? Okay. Give me the bag of sugar. We got like 20 minutes left. Come on. This is gonna be a nice long first episode, is it? For a second, I thought I didn't get the egg. It just hasn't hatched yet. I don't think Roxanne is the teacher. She's uh, the student council president. Trap bench! Well, that's cool. I can get a fly gone. now. Now I can catch Abra with Arena Trap. Trap Inch from Atle. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know what the hell to name this thing. Well, Candy Claws will at least let me access it. Uh. Go. Gorby. There we go. I just picked random letters until I made something. He's now Gorby. Adamant Nature. A lot of Adamant Pokemon today. Hyper Cutter. Earthquake, Crunch, Rock Slide. Quick Attack? Trapinch can have Quick Attack. Really? Is that an egg move for it? I did not know that. That's actually pretty sick. Maybe we could use it in the long run. Too bad I'm noticing a lot of usable Pokemon are weak to ice, but that's why we have the team to mix up now. Gorby. There you go. Oh yeah, we get to, the people who submit the eggs pick the nature and the egg moves, of course. Alrighty, for now, let's take the Pokemon I got. There is also a mod that randomizes the Pokemon team every battle, right? Was that Small Ants? I've, I've done the one that randomizes the maps. Kind of wanted to try that one that randomizes the team. That could be kind of sick. Okay, this looks good. Now let's go train. I'd love to do the map randomizer again. I know it's compatible. I know it's also compatible with a uh, Platinum version. But oh my god, that'd be stressful. Hang on. Slateport. Let's do it. 
Was made by at sign for small ants. Okay. Hmm. 108. No, you guys can't attach items. I'm gonna use the whatever items I pick up. Ahoy, we may land in Slayport. Suppose you're gonna go visit Captain Stern to deliver the goods. I will. There's a double battle right here. There's a triple. Wouldn't be a smart idea to pop into that, would it? Let's start with you. I can't swim, so I'm pretending to swim. I can fish up something here. Chad, I got maybe, like, time for one more egg, or I could leave it for next time. I think I'm inclined to leave it for next time, because I have, like, 15 minutes left. Let's go. Chat wants one more egg. Just one more. Just one more egg. Please, and we'll never ask forever. Okay, what route is this? Let's use the nav here for a second. 109 Slateport Beach. Slateport Beach doesn't count as a separate area. Okay, 109. Just one more. It's going to be the five-star triple S rare. And then we'll never ask for anything again. We'll be happy, even if the, even if the character is outdated in one day. Drowsy! Why is that fudge-dipped elephant doing lurking in the water? Don't worry, we'll look in I'll look in front of the museum, don't worry. I have to go to the Pokemon Center there anyway. Look at it. You can't tell me this thing isn't dipped in fudge. Those aren't pants. It's a fudge dip. And I won't hear any other explanation. It's only level 5, unfortunate. But 19 is the cap, so we're good. Get it. It is a Pokemon. That's what you can say about Drowsy. Now let's go ahead and get the number. The number is Jimmy. Number 27? Are you serious? <laughs> what is with the 20s today? People are going to tell me I'm, I'm scripting this. <laughs> it's too much effort to show the generator on screen. I just open up the web page. Hey, what are y'all doing? Oh, hey, is that Shelly? Hey there, quit pushing. This is the line. Can't you see? Yep, it's Shelly. Oh, the custom aqua sprites. I don't... No, I didn't do 27, I'm pretty sure. We'll fish in Slateport next time. Number 27, coming right up. Hang on, I need an egg. We'll put you away for a second. 30, 29, 28, 27. Yeah, I got two, um, a lot of them side by side at the end here, geez. It's random, there's no pattern to it, it's just sometimes that happens. The villains still respect the lines. Yes, they do. I talked about it uh, during one of the recent Pokemon playthroughs, but one of these days, I will. I would like to play Oraz again and play a randomizer that randomizes the player model. Because I've heard you can do that. Heracross. That's kind of cool. I already got my bug type right now, though. Okay, it's a girl. Um, I used one in Crystal Kaizo, and I called it Dana. Hmm. I'm gonna call this one Alma. Do that. Take a look at it. Heracross by Sistask. Okay. Adamant nature. <laughs> I'm hatching all the adamant Pokemon. Why not? Megahorn, Brick Break, Re Earthquake, and Return. It's pretty good. 85 accuracy. So I might die using it. Pretty sick. We can use that. I got put to sleep by the drowsy. Yes, I did. Just heal me right quick. High risk, high reward. Look up where the aquas are blocking the route. Hang on, we will.
First, let me put away Alma. Oopsie. I'll take Candy for now, because Candy is dandy. Now I think this will work much better. Like, the biggest problem I had with the last egg lock was the fact that so many hatched Pokemon just sat in the box unused because I just, the only way I was going to use them is if I team wiped. This way I can actually just get, it's like I'm adding to a list of Pokemon I can pull from when I need to do a real battle. It feels more fun that way. I don't know, I feel like people are going to be split on that, but let's do it. Chat seems to like it. Let's hope Sonic Fan 69 likes it too. I'm just sounding petty now, aren't I? No grass right now. Hey, that's Adam, right? Was that his name? Oh God, I can't remember. I think that was his name. What's the name of the other Aquaman? Adam? Admin? Matt. I thought it was Ad Adam because of admin, didn't I? <laughs> his name is Matt. Where am I? That has to be where I was getting uh, Adam from. This is my first job after joining Team Aqua. It's a little scary. I want to get going to Slateport and kick up a ruckus. Team Aqua's activities, we can't talk about them yet. Team Aqua's actions should bring smiles to people's faces. He technically had a unique sprite in Vanilla Sapphire. He was just muscly dude without a shirt. Now hold up now. I guess I can do just one trainer battle and pick this up. Lens tag. Don't really need that. Could go for a double battle with these guys. Hmm. Let's go John and Aki here. Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? Yeah, no one had unique overworld sprites for that. Ta-da! See? My inner tube's round. Courtney, Shelly, Matt, and Tabitha just had you generic-looking sprites, I believe. Didn't they? Um, actually, no. Shelly... Shelly and, um, Courtney had unique ones, didn't they? I think they did. Yeah. Okay, they got ground types. We can do this. Let's drill peck that whooper, and let's earthquake this whole team. Okay. And now they're gone. I can almost... I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this up. Wouldn't want to be wrong on the internet. Another Wooper and Cubone. Perfect. Okay. Drill Peck you, and I guess Crunch you. It doesn't really matter. These trainers are nothing. Okay, that's good. Is this technically like the first hack ever that has Auras sprites in the overworld? Are you guys the first one to do that? That'd be cool. I'm getting Pokemon history by playing this. Hang on. Me? I'm here every day. Okay. I'm taking them out. You know what? One more battle. Let's take you out. I'm thirsty. I could go for a soda pop. I usually skip the soda house, but that would be a good place to get some money and EXP next time. Ricky. He's got a Dratini. Real pack. Get him, John. You do not want to mess with John. Heck yeah. The soda's bad for you. Well, it's not. My character is drinking it. It's fine. I'll get this guy, too. And then we'll save. Then we'll save, and I'm going to set, uh, set up Lethal Company with Dylan in a bit. How long did I go? A little over three hours. Not bad for a first episode. That's usually what I aim for Pokemon streams. I hope you all have been enjoying this. I'm curious how many people we've had after all this time. Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good. A lot of people here. Nice. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you've been enjoying this too. 
Whoop, er, uh, uh, er. Uh. Cynthia got 416. All the trainer Pokemon are random. We're definitely going to be seeing some stuff later on that will mess with us. Like, I'm dreading Norman because Slack King has a gigantic BST. And he's balanced by his ability. But the randomizer is going to swap that around with the similar strength rule and give him, like, legendaries. I don't think that Mewtwo <laughs> really counted for that. I mashed a, like, a chump. Yep. In Emerald, he has two Slackings, doesn't he? Or is that Ruby and Sapphire? I think he only has one in Emerald, actually. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save and stop here. Pretty good progress. I feel like I hatched about a dozen eggs, didn't I? Not too bad. Ruby Sapphire is two, Emerald is one. Holy moly. That's a lot. That's a huge BST. Is it 670? Nice. Well then, this is where we're gonna this is where we're gonna stop this recording. Oh, sorry, I need a drink. I'm flubbing my words. Got to see your egg hatch. Well, I'm glad y'all enjoy seeing your eggs hatch. Hopefully I can actually this time get to use a whole, whole lot more Pokemon instead of like maybe eight total. Cover legendaries have like BST of 680. Oof. Yeah. All right, this is where we're gonna stop with episode one. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. Look forward to more. Have a good night, and bye-bye.